tourism, for example, building hotels, and maybe later on we'll speak about this. In one. Um, that we have mobilized resources to invest in agriculture, to grow the economy. And now, look, now we have set ourselves the target of, 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 of increasing the contribution of agriculture to the economy from $300 million to $700 million by 2030. And we put in systems in place and policies in place and programs in place and projects in place to help achieve um, that lofty goal of, of increasing um, the, the contribution of agriculture to the economy. You know, reducing our food import bill and in increasing our export export of agricultural and processed um, 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 uh, added value goods out of Dominica, bringing in foreign exchange into a country. So, so we invested in these things, supporting small business um, with, the, with the mobilization of cheaper financing for small and medium sized enterprises. You are a businessman, Simeon. Yes, yes. You 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 know the difference between eleven percent and three percent. Oh I, I, I mean, You I know was, the difference between eleven percent oh, and two percent. That's a huge the, difference. The, 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 the savings that you you would have. Mm -hmm. So it reduces your capital investment and also it recur, re, re, reduces your recurring expenditure. Oh, yes. And anybody who is a business person, if you save a dollar mm -hmm. it's it's a dollar less you have to spend. That's right. Because these things add up. Mm -hmm. You know and, and <laughs> you know when you, when you beat your eyes, you know you, you're talking about fifty thousand um, dollars, forty, a hundred thousand mm dollars, -hmm. and so this is what we're seeking to do: empowering people. When we provide an education to 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 a young person, that person has something that he can use now to make money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I keep telling people who I meet, when you go to university, you must see it as an investment. Right. It's an investment, and therefore, you know, you have to know work towards getting this, use the knowledge and the skills that you have, mm -hmm. to. To, to create the wealth for yourself and for your family. And, and, and so we're not saying that the country is perfect. Right. We're not saying everything is, 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 is fine. Mm -hmm. No, but one cannot contest the fact that this labor party is the best thing for Dominica, now and in the foreseeable future. Because that's the only party that, has, that continues to articulate a vision and a plan and working hard. There's no other party. These guys don't care about people. All they're concerned about is peddling lies, yes. misinformation. You know, allegations. Mm -hmm. That's all they, they, they're concerned about. They're not kind of interested in, 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 in how people are living, how people are surviving, whether people have food on the table and they have money in the pocket and children in school. Mm -hmm. No, they're not interested in these things. No, 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 no. Because you see, when they, 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 these guys are here for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem you have. When you come to represent people, you must come to serve them. It's a vocation. Mm -hmm. You must be able to show sacrifices that you're making and you've made to come to serve people. Mm -hmm. And when you come into representational politics, right, when you come become when you want to become a member of parliament or minister, it's about serving people. That's right. You're not their bosses, you know, you 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 are your servant. You you're there to 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 work with them to make life better for them. Mm -hmm. And if you do not make a sacrifice to 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 come to serve people, and this is when you look at the Labour Party and you compare it with the United Workers Party and the candidates. There's nobody in the Workers' Party side who's making a sacrifice. Everybody's looking for a job. Yes, yes. Everybody's looking for a job. Mm -hmm. And when they don't get a job, they become angry with Dominican people. Yes. They're not angry with me alone. You know, they, they want to get rid of me by all means necessary. Yes, yeah. yeah, by all because means. Because they believe that I'm, the, I'm one of these tumbling box. I'm, I'm, I'm the blockade in the, in the road for them to get where they get. But I keep telling people I only have one vote. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they're angry with the people of Dominica. You know? And what, look now, the, the messiah of the Workers' Party. You know who is the messiah of the Workers' Party? <laughs> Afi Mate? <laughs> By God in heaven. I mean, when a party in, this, in, the, in the third decade of the 21st century is looking to a man who, in, in local parlance, you would say, local language, you say, mal <laughs> And he's now the messiah of the Workers' Party, tells you that this party has no future and is clearly not interested in, in, in anything called people of Dominica. And the wealth and well-being of Dominicans, mm -hmm. nothing at all. Nothing at all. So, so we have to continue working, and this is why I'm saying to Dominicans that we have to continue to work. Life may not be what all of us would like it to be at any particular time, but we cannot contest the fact that the future of this country, the wealth and well-being of our children, ourselves, and the elderly in Dominica, um, is better placed with Dominican Labour Party. Yes. And this is why I keep saying to you all, be supporters, because there are a number of of, of kind and and um, you know, since the supporters of the Workers' Party are there, who've invested their time and their resources into this party, hoping that this party can make a difference and so forth. They try to advise the party. But the leadership of the party don't listen. Right. 
Well, I mean, you see, this party, and, and, and so this is why I'm saying to, to, to yes. folks, come join me. Come join us. People know me. I'm an all-inclusive person. I embrace people. That's right. Because this is not a, this this is not about me. It's about the people of Dominica, and anybody who has a talent and a skill and want to put it at the disposal of the Labour Party and the government, I embrace you. And so let us not fight each other. There's no need to force to fight each other. We can well, let's let's work together, so and, and and come and join and, and you know share your views and you know mm -hmm. that you will have a listening ear um, from Roosevelt Square. Something you have always done, Prime Minister. Uh, uh, PM importantly though. Hotels. I mean, the Citizenship by Investment program has come under tremendous criticism. It continues even as we speak. There are those in the opposition that would like to see the citizenship program fall today. Many years ago, Prime Minister, when you entered into diplomatic relationship with the People's Republic of China, one of the important projects that you did was the Windsor Park Stadium within the first year that you got into power. The opposition criticized you tremendously at the time because they felt that you were building a, a, a stadium for sports, but we did not have hotels that could host the visitors that would be coming into the island. <clears throat> Few years down the line, after the stadium had been constructed, the government is now embarking on a serious program to build hotels throughout this country that will obviously create significant employment. We have heard the opposition now criticizing the hotels that are being constructed. Can you help us to understand the impact that these hotels will have on the economy in the for future of this country? Thank you, Simon. Before I answer your question, you, you made reference to the stadium. Yes, we are. And, and when we established relations with, with China, and China uh, gave us this gift of a stadium, I, I recall the World Bank and the IMF, because you know at the time we were in an austerity program with the IMF, mm -hmm. and they felt that the stadium was not a priority in Dominica. Um, and that we should use the resources for something else. Yes. And I defy them. I tell them there's nothing, no way. This stadium is going to be an important element for the development of sports in Dominican, for the young people, and for the future, for the well-being. Mm -hmm. And also, it could also be used as an important um, uh, economic uh, mover uh, by bringing in teams from overseas to, to play international cricket, to play international football and other sports. And we've seen this. It's under this lower party that we first saw international cricket in Dominica. That's right. And now maybe the only team that we have not seen is, is England. And once we build these hotels, additional hotels, you, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get England one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, so fast forward with regards to the hotels. Yeah. We have been investing heavily in tourism. When we came into Dominica as a government, we, the planes couldn't land at night. There was no night landing. Okay, the airport would close very early in the afternoon, especially when you have Christmas time, December time, when, it, when, when the, the, the day is shorter. And we've had the, the, the indignity of being told by Liat that we have to disembark in Antigua, and it brought daylight in Antigua. Mm -hmm. We have to disembark because by the time they get to Dominica, it will be dark and they're unable to land. Right. And so we have, we said we're going to, we have, we develop a strategy to address the access in Dominica. Mm -hmm. And the first order of business was to introduce night landing in Dominica. We extended the, the runway. We introduced night landing. We, we built essentially a new terminal building, mm -hmm. right? And we saw the introduction of night landing in Dominica. And we always said to the people of Dominica that we would build an international airport, but that we will not burden the taxpayers of Dominican future generations with a huge debt to build the international airport because there's no way we could afford to borrow to build the international airport. And what we started to do, we started saving money. We started saving as little as five million US dollars every month. And at the time of the hurricane, we had already re saved a significant amount of money um, by just saving five million US dollars every month. Had it not been for the hurricane, by now we would have had enough of the funds to build the international airport. Obviously, we had to use the funds to build homes. We had to use the funds to dredge the rivers. We had to clear the roads. We had to use funds to help farmers. We had to use the funds to help the private sector to sustain their employment numbers so people couldn't lose their jobs. Because one of the things, Simeon, I, I always told the cabinet and the government, that in terms of disaster, in terms of 
of, of, of challenges, we must maintain the dignity of a human being. And the dignity of a human being is to ensure that he can put food on, his, on, the, on the table of his family. Right. And this is why we don't send people home. Mm -hmm. Not because we don't have justification financially to send people home. And not only do we maintain our employment in the public service, we will, we will pay in the salaries of many private sector um, businesses. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. To <clears throat> sustain, to, to make sure that people could go home with a dollar. To, 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 to buy food and to present it mm -hmm. to their families. So, so we need to maintain the dignity of the human being. With regards to the hotels, mm -hmm. the, hotel, the construction of the hotels is part of the strategy for increasing foreign exchange into Dominica. We recognize, we've always stated very clearly, that the CBI and every other thing in life will never be with you forever. And so this is why we've been investing the CBI funds to sustain our development thrust and to create independent sources of revenue earning, job creation, sustainable job creation for the country. So we invest in infrastructure, better roads. Better roads mean better commerce, better transportation, better access, safety. We invest in our resilient building, ensuring we build homes for people. So that we, when you have access to a home that is not leaking, comfortable, you have light, you have water, you can go next in your master bedroom and flush your toilet. Your children can sit on the, on, on the table in the living room with light and do their homework. It, it, it automatically improves your quality of life and the dignity of the human being. And, 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 it, and for many people, literally overnight by giving them a key, we have taken them out of poverty. Because they now have access to running water, they have access to electricity, their homes are not leaking. Okay, the children can go to school with a sense of pride that they have a comfortable place to sleep in. Even if sometimes we don't have a bed, we, 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 have, a, we have a mattress on the floor, that's fine. Yeah. But we're not wetting. Sure. There's no, 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 no breeze coming through the crevices of the wood. And, 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 and they expose them roof. People are comfortable. And so we invest in tourism, the hotels. And you know, the World Bank did a study. I believe it's the World Bank or the Central Bank, one of them. That they were, talk, they were looking at the hotels that we, were, we had already built. Jungle Bay and, and the... And the um, the Kempinski and and, and, and and others and they're saying with these hotels and they anticipate mm -hmm. that we could have revenues to into the treasury of what forty million dollars every year, US dollars. That's revenue to the treasury. That that, that doesn't include, you know, the impact on, 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 on the stakeholders. And this is what we're seeking to create that we have hotel rooms that we can now promote Dominica. People can come in, jobs, cre jobs created, farmers can sell the, the, the produce, fishermen can sell the produce. We can have more people in, 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 the, in, in, in spa treatment and massages and, 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 and the associated services and amenities. More people coming to Dominica, more spending, more consumption of goods, more, more, more rental vehicles will be rented out. The spread would be would be impactful, and so we we we, we invested in these hotels, and this, the workers' party is criticizing us for this, yes. because they don't they don't they, they they don't understand what development is, and they're not interested in knowing either, because they're not interested in the welfare of the people, and so we invest in these hotels, and so they, you know, they criticize. The Kempinski when you're building it. Yes, yes. They criticize Jungle Bay when you're building it. Mm -hmm. They criticize every one of the hotels. Mm -hmm. And so the last thing they have now is is some video going around saying that the Marriott Hotel has come to a halt. Yes, I saw that video. Which is which is which is which is factually untrue. Mm -hmm. Factually untrue. And people like Mr. 
um, Stuart Paris was, a, was, a, was, a, was one of the main contractors on this hotel. And he's, he's a UWP man. Everybody knows he, he's a UWP man. Yes. I believe now he's at Secret Bay working and so forth for, you know, contracting. So there's a lot of work taking place on, on, on the Marriott Hotel in, in Portsmouth. Significant amount of work is, is taking place. The um, Hilton, that's in Salisbury, mm -hmm. significant work has, has, has happened there and continue to happen. And never, work never stop. Secret Bay, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Jungle Bay has been completed. Okay? Um, Ocean Edge is under construction. The 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 one in the valley in in in, in Loda mm -hmm. is under construction. These guys just want to see nothing happen in Dominica. Hmm. Nothing happened in Dominica. Hmm. And how could you want to be the leadership of this country, the party in government, and you have a problem with positive things happening in Dominica? Yes. You 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 are calling mm -hmm. for a hurricane to hit Dominica. You, you're calling for a storm to damage Dominica. You're calling for everything to stop. You're, calling, you, you're praying and hoping that the international community will take a decision against the CBI and, 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 and it would end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As, if all of us, as if some of us are living in a different Dominica. Yes, 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 yes. And you ask yourself, what kind of people are these people? Mm -hmm. And so, so we, we, you, you've seen the investment we're making in, 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 in tourism. Mm -hmm. And the hotel construction that, that's important yes you can't go and promote dominica and say come to dominica when people come to dominica there's nowhere to sleep hmm. i tell you and you can see the quality of the hotels the first oh, yes. time in the history of our country we have five star hotels and not only one mm -hmm. labor done that labor and now we have the the direct flights from Miami. When American Airlines said they were going to start two flights, Mr. Linton said it's an old plane they're going to use and, yeah. and, and so forth, and we will, he will see and so on. Before the, the, the two flights started a week, the Americans said they increased by three. Yes, yes. Three days a week. And before they get to introduce the three days a week, they say going, they're going to go every day of the week. Every day of the week. And we thank God thus far, knock on wood, thank God, mm -hmm that the flights have been successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've seen an increase in visitor arrival because of this American Airlines flight. Yes. And then the ultimate thing now, Simeon, mm -hmm. is the construction of the International Airport. Yes, massive project. Which will be the final element in terms of the infrastructure for improving access into Dominica. And we're talking to the airlines. And I, and I, and I know, I know that once we build this international airport, planes will land in Dominica from mm -hmm. different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, am, I, am, I have no doubt about this. Mm -hmm. And so the future for tourism, the future for agriculture, the future of this country is looking up. Yes. And all of these things are happening in the midst of uncertainty. That's right. Brought on by COVID-19. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the... That's the, and I say, I, I'm not a boastful person. And every time I talk about things the government is doing, I, I want to say to the people of Dominica, we say so with the greatest sense of humility. Because all we're doing here is stating facts. That's right. That's right. You understand? That's right. And so, you have us, mm -hmm. the Labour Party, mm -hmm. and then you have the Workers' Party. You know, you, 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 you normally say you, you say chalk and cheese. Yes. But my brother, I don't know what other thing you can use. We cannot be chalk and look at something looking too close to cheese. <laughs> you Especially don't say if you're using cube cheese. You, you know, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today, today I heard them say that, um, oh, like we don't need an international. Funny enough, you know, uh, they had um, Bernard Richard talking and saying how we don't need an international airport. Dominica could do something different. But, you know, PM, that's how they like to downplay all of these very important um, projects uh, that we have. But before we go to the calls, PM, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, though, about because recently, Another big move by the Labour Party government was the acquisition of Domlek. I mean, we know that for years now, 
um, Dominicans has battled with the fact that the opposition sold an important piece of asset. They will, according to Dominicans, it was pirated. And today, suddenly, we heard the big news that that the government have now um, purchased Domlek while the geothermal project, you know, continue mm -hmm. to be developed. Very important um, projects for Dominica Prime Minister. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, we. <coughs> We criticize heavily and rightly so, and I think the majority of Dominicans criticize the United Eucharist Party for selling Dominic. It is okay to sell something that you have, but you cannot sell it for less than what it is valued, especially if it's a state asset. None of us would want to sell a business that we have for more than um, or sixty percent less than what is valued. I don't think so. Only if you are desperate, only if you're on drugs, and you want to paro the thing. So you're desperate. And the fact of the matter is, the UDLP was desperate. They were desperate because they had no money. They were borrowing left, right, and center. They had bankrupt the Social Security. The CDB was not providing any money to the, to the, to the aid bank because of fiduciary concerns. Um, with regards to the management of the country and the management of the bank. The World Bank had stopped giving us money because we had violated uh, the procurement rules of the World Bank. That is to say, the United States Party time I'm talking about. Yes, yes. And so they were desperate. Mm -hmm. And this guy sold Domlek, 72% of Domlek, for less than what it was valued. But on top of that, they went to the CDB and took a loan for Domlek. Wow, wow, wow. So if, if you are to put things into perspective, mm -hmm. we rarely gave these guys Domlek for nothing. <laughs> you understand? Yes. And they were going to build a road there in, in, in Hillsborough going up to um, Warner mm -hmm. because some UW person had land in that area. Imagine that. And they started the road before elections and it never continued. Never. So we paid, we had to pay this loan. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, they guaranteed, they gave the company a guarantee of 15% return on its investment. That was for 25 years. Yes. Yeah. And it's a piece of legislation. And when you read the hands that and how these guys explain this to the parliament and the question by the then Charles Sovereign, the, the member of parliament, and, mm -hmm. and Pierre Charles May Solars in Peace, and Austria, and Marshall Walton, all those were asking, quest asking questions mm -hmm. with no answers. Ozzy Walsh, asking questions, clandestinely sold Domlek when, and they were not even reporting to the parliament. And so UDLP sold Domlek at a time of high desperation on the part of the government at the time. And we've always said, at some point in our, in our, in our future, Labour Party will bring back Domlek as part of the patrimony of the people of Dominica. And we have done so, not out of desperation for money, but out of ensuring that the issue of electricity generation and distribution, the, the state has a role to play in that. And, and that's part of our national security. That's part of our economic security. And, and so this is where we are with Dominic. And I will certainly be reporting to the Parliament when we go there on how much we paid for Domlek, how much double, how much um, Emera asked for, mm -hmm. and how much we end up paying them for the shares that we for the company that own, own the shares, the fifty percent of Domlek. Um, one of the concerns I've raised in recent time, as more fact, was up to today, I was having a discussion with the financial secretary. And I said to her that we need to um, start reviewing the fuel surcharge mm -hmm. because I have a fundamental issue with the fuel surcharge in the the, 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 the high the high rates of the fuel surcharge. And I'm I'm, I'm I said that we need to, we have directed them to look at the at at at, at reformulating the, the, this this formula as to how we arrive at the fuel surcharge to to ensure that we can we can cushion the impact of electricity costs on the consumers of Dominica as a first step while we will continue working on geothermal, which we are fully committed to 
to its realization. And so if we address this few research as an in interim, hopefully, and, 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 and geothermal comes on, on stream, then we can see in the long run a reduction in the cost of electricity to both the public and uh, public, but, sorry, the private, the, the, the businesses, and of, of course domestic consumers. Mm -hmm. So this is these are things we're trying to do to see how we can how we can reduce the cost of, of, of on, on, on an impact on people, like what like, like we've done with electric with, um, with petroleum. Mm -hmm. For many years, Simeon, for many many years, for the last twelve years, mm -hmm. there have been no taxes on kerosene, on LPG in Dominica, no excise tax, no custom service charge, no VAT on no import duties on kerosene and LPG in Dominico. People don't seem to remember that. We removed this. Right. Right? And then recently, we have been subsidizing the price of the other petroleum products, mm -hmm. diesel and gasoline. We, ha we, are, we are subsidizing um, gasoline by 60 cents per gallon and diesel 21 cents per gallon, plus the removal of the custom service charge of 3%. In order to cushion the impact of the imported price of petroleum products in Dominic, because we know the cause of the increase, the, the war, the, 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 the fracas between Ukraine and Russia, and yes. the, the cutting off of the supply of, of, of Russian um, um, gas to the rest of the world. So this is an external shock. This is uh, as a result of, of, of something that we have no control over. You understand? But notwithstanding the fact that we, or the government itself is challenged because the government is a major cons consumer of petroleum products. So anytime the price of petroleum products, high government pays for it. Mm -hmm. Because we're the largest consumer of petroleum products. So when people hear talk about the price high, and so government is impacted too. Indeed. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we understand the impact on, 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 on Dominicans. That's why we have given this, this subsidy, um, which is really in large measure unprecedented in our country. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so so this is where we are with, with regards to, to the question that you asked. Yes. Indeed. Now, PM, we, we have some ongoing work. I know I mean, the, the road network in Dominica, Lately, there I, I can say that I don't hear people calling the radio and complain about bad roads in Dominica. That was something when the Labour Party came in, we were used to hearing bus drivers, taxi drivers. Everyone used to call and complain how bad the roads were. And, you know, today we have nice roads nearly all over Dominica. I know there is a major ongoing project um, towards the eastern side of the island. Tell us, PM, how is this project um, progressing? Well, first of all, Simon, as you know, you're quite right. We have spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars since we came to office, especially after we became the Prime Minister of the country, um, on improvement of the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Look at the West Coast Road. Um, investment in, 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 in Sufria and Scottsdale and Point Michel, um, from Keene, from Rosa to the Douglas Charles Airport. Um, you know, every village road, we've you, improved. You know, every race, the concrete roads or asphalt roads, it's Labour Party did it. Yes. You, you know, and, and, and sometimes because we, we, we drive in and we don't have to be swerving and so forth, we forget what it was before. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have to count the number of bridges mm -hmm. from Cane Field to Douglas Charles Airport, and everyone, one of, someone, some, when you guys drive into the airport, count the bridges. I think we did that once. Kong the bridges. It's a, it's a, it's a huge right? number. And every one of these bridges was a one lane bridge. That's true. And this Labour Party has 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 built all of these new bridges to, to the point where two vehicles passed on it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we spend a, a lot of money and we continue to spend a lot of money on the, on, on roads in Dominica. We have a contract of 126 million or 27 million dollars on the East Coast from what they have before Cassie Bruce, before the Emerald Pool, um, down through Cassie Bruce and through the Canago Territory onto Atkinson and onto Pegua. Um, there were recently there was some issue on, on the part of the contractor and, and some unauthorized excavation which took place and, and, and that as a result and the rain came and 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 and, and um, washed away the tarish and, and created a challenge, an environmental challenge. The 
ministry responsible for that road and other government officials visited and and and, and they recommended that the the works be suspended and they have instructed the contractor to remedy the the situation um we certainly would like to see an, an increase in, in in safety um signs um there and and and, and that um more could be done to to maintain the better driving surface even if the road is in a, is in a construction so these are some of the things that we are we have mandated and, and reminded the contractor of his of his responsibility under the contract but what we have to be careful about in dominica and especially supporters of the government is 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 that the the is that the machinations of the workers party they're not concerned about no tariffs that 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 got into the river or anything like that. They're not concerned about this thing. Not at all, not at all. What what they what they are upset about is that this Labour Party is building a major piece of infrastructure mm -hmm. that will impact positively the Carnegie territory at Kingston and Castle Bruce and Peter Sufre and Good Hope and and Mopo and and, and, and Peter Sufre and Sansover. Mm -hmm. And but they don't so they, so so if they speak and the right to international organizations, to the World Bank, to UNESCO and others, that the government is, is doing a project in Dominica with funding from the World Bank and is, uh, is damaging the environment. Their hope, understand this, you know, their hope is that the project will be stopped. It's the same thing they did when they wrote to the World Bank about about the monies that we gotten after the world after the hurricane, yes. it's the same thing that Mr. Linton did when he he he, he said that we were denying people um, rations. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing that they, they've been doing with the CBI and CBS and Al Jazeera and all these all these people that they they seek to undermine. Mm -hmm. It's part of, of 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 their strategy. So they are drumming up this thing, out of proportion, hoping that the road would stop, and who would suffer? Mm -hmm. The people of the Canago Territory, yes. the people of Atkinson. The Casablanca people, the Sansova people, the Gouda people, the Mopo, Deepa, Pete Sufre. These are the people who are going to suffer. Yes. yes, as we're driving now, it's a, it's, a, it's a rough drive. But my friend, I mean, every, every development, mm -hmm. you know, you have a house, you're fixing the house, you have to put things in plastic bag and lots of dust and you have to be, you know, shaking your clothes when you're going to work because you have dust. I mean, it's, it's, but I don't know if the one day project is over. You're comfortable. That's right. And when you're building, when you're doing infrastructure anywhere in Dominica, especially the East, people know that the East is one of the most vulnerable parts of Dominica. Mm -hmm. And anytime you, you, there has been so many landslides there in Boadiab and oh. I, I, I see past um, 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 the Emerald Pool and all these places there, you know, when you pass um, Cassie Bruce going to Margini there and, you know, we've had so many landslides there towards the Canago Territory. So you always have movement. Right. You have you have D eights and, and and heavy equipment there and, and and vibrating and rollers vibrating and so on. So you'll have the, the earth moving, and you'll always have some 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 environmental concerns. Mm -hmm. But don't give the impression that this this is being done by the government deliberately, mm -hmm. hoping that the World Bank will come in and say, well, look, we have a survey project indefinitely uh, because and so because of this and because of that. That's what the guys are looking for. Yes, yes, yes. There's nothing else. So they're, 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 they're doing this with bad intention. Very bad intentions. Indeed. And, 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 and of course, Pim, as we talk about roads, you, you no doubt recently had the uh, president of the Caribbean Development Bank here in Dominica. And um, I mean, looking at the Grand Bay area, for example, rehabilitation of 11 kilometer of roadway uh, between Lou Bear Bridge and, and Grand Bay. Serious financing for major projects, BM, to continue as we go through this year. Yeah, we we have um, we are making progress for the for the Grand Bay for the Lou Bear Grand Bay Bacatel Road. We we went to tender. We we receive as as far as I've been advised. Because the process has been managed and overseen by the by the CDB on our behalf, and on behalf of the British government, providing the funds. The bids, one bid came back, and it, it was significantly higher than the amount of money we have. So there's, they, I think now they're doing a critical analysis and evaluation of the of that bid, and and to see what 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 may, what, what may have went wrong why there has been a significant departure from um, what the in-house estimates would have been. So, so this is where we are. Had it not been for that, we would have been in a position to 
uh, issue a contract and sign a contract. So there will be a slight delay because of that. Um, and so we'll keep the communities, direct communities informed on the wider country um, informed of this. But this is where we are. Um, so the engineers and, and everybody from the CDB looking at, at, at a rationalization of, of, of this bid and, and, and to determine, you know, what happened, you know, right. essentially. Right, right. But but things are things are moving in, in the in the positive direction. Yeah. Want to open up the line stream? All the telephones have been ringing there, and um, certainly want to engage the listeners. And the, of course, I know many of them want to uh, communicate with you. So we will no doubt um, open up the lines to you, the listeners. Feel free to uh, ring in the numbers. I know I do not always give out these numbers, but people know them <laughs> by heart. And um, and um, of course, if you have your questions, and uh, the prime minister is in studio, I hear a lot of people's PM outside there. Sometimes the opposition pretend like you um you know they, they have questions for you but whenever you are even on your program they, they don't call you and ask you any question but let's take this call on the overseas line there good evening to you on the overseas line yes yes my brother back and open back today yes yes go right ahead APM tonight how you doing how are you how are you yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Long time you don't come to the studio, but long time, long yeah, time. Yeah, I, I, I hear you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, good night to Mr. Austin, my mentor, and everybody else. Um, PM, on the geo when, are, when, um, when do you think we're going to get some real steam coming out from there? And can you also tell the Dominican people who is the contractor and how much um, was the contract for? Because, you know, they like to say we we, we always bring in um, outside um, contractors to the work. So please let the Dominican people know it's a local Dominican contractor that's doing that work. Please let them well, know. Well, you know. Let them also tell them the, the amount too. Yeah, I, I, I don't have the precise amount for the existing for the contract of the of, uh, of the works that are currently going going now, mm -hmm. but you you correct it, it was awarded to a local contractor and that local contractor is is Ace Limited, um, which is largely owned by Mr. Anthony Libla. Um so so that's been done and and this is what we've always said. I mean, there are some contracts, there are some projects because of the conditions set, especially if they if they're funded externally. Um, that companies will not be able to tender for them because they may not have the financial backing to do it. For example, on this Granby Road, mm -hmm. there's no no local company that could have tendered for it because of, of the of the conditions set by the CDB. Not even such a damn Jack Gallican company could have tendered for this. Oh. You see you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um because of the requirements that were that, that were set okay now so so this is this is regards to to, to to part of the questions that question the, the caller asked yeah. and, and of course i believe that in the next year and a half or so we would see um some steam coming up from 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 the geothermal Let, let's take the next call the pm on the local line okay let's go to the overseas line there call on the overseas line good evening good night good night Tim Tim. good night pm yes good evening to you how are you doing, man? I'm, I'm, okay? I'm pretty good, thank you. Yeah, man. Um, PM, um, I have a little concern about the um, the passport because I've been getting people coming and saying they want to organize their passport, they want to keep passport. But we in the Virgin Islands, you know, they, some of them stuck and they don't know how to operate it. So I would like you to give a little explanation so they could have an idea how they could get their passport done, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of people interested and they want to, they want to, they want to, get the passport and um before i go let me just compliment you for all the great job you're doing for dominica pm and up to sunday while i was at work we were looking at the football game and um some people that not from dominica when they were looking at the game on my phone they could not believe we have so much of a beautiful stadium and as always as always i always talk about you and they tell me to tell you that, that a job well done for what you're doing for dominica pm i'm listening i know a lot of people have fun. And you all the best to you and sure. take care of yourself. So sure, thank you. I wish you all the best. And of course, also to all, all yeah. my friends at the airport in St. Thomas. I'm, I'm sure they're listening as well. Um, the, the the passport, I I, uh, I I know that there was a plan by the Ministry of National Security to to go to some countries and some cities to facilitate the renewal or the application for the e-passports. Um, 
So I'm hoping that the Ministry of National Security can update yourselves on that plan and and, 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 and do so. So I'm, I will ask the Ministry to to give an update hopefully by Thursday, Friday, so that um, our friends in St. Thomas and Elsa, because there are other people who, 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 who send me messages and, and asking and inquiring about how could they go about it. And obviously there's anxiety among some people that we're coming to, quickly coming towards August. And um, the deadline was set for August for people to renew their passports and, and to and to have the, the e-passport. So I, I understand the anxieties and, and of that, but um, um, I will ask the Ministry of National Security to give an update on this. Indeed. Uh, on the local line, there, caller, good evening to you on the local line. Yes, to me, I was also speaking. Good night, Mr. Prime Minister. How much money on my phone? Now, Mr. Prime Minister, yes, I just call in to just say I want to meet with um, the minister that's responsible for solid waste. Okay. Whoever is responsible for solid waste, I want to have a, a, a coordinate with them I, because yeah. my heart is heavy. I want I, I, to. Okay, I will, I will, I'll arrange that because I, I, I know the minister must come good eh, if you're going to be at the meeting. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, w I, want, I want to meet the, I want to meet the minister, whoever that is responsible okay. for solid waste. I want to meet with that person. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll, arrange, I'll, I'll I'll arrange it for you for Friday. Friday, good for you. Yes, sir. Okay, so thank he, you. he's listening, so uh, you know. Uh, okay, all right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. I'll go up ministry. Uh, yeah, 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 it's for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All I can do is I'm for one the minister. To all. all the best. All right. <laughs> all I can do is see me. I can I, I do for one the minister <laughs> who is who is Honorable Frederick. Yeah, he has to prepare himself. Yeah, he has to prepare himself. <laughs> yeah. He has to get very good notes because <laughs> those rules of stuff not easy. Yeah, yeah clever guy. Yeah. Oh, the other sister like that. Call a good evening to you. <laughs> Good evening. Albert, how are you? I'm good, thank you, sir. Hey, PM, what's up? Good night. Hey, greetings, greetings. Hey, calling from Boston. Yes, sir. It's on the line. You know it is. Of course, of course. Um, I'm just calling to, to personally congratulate the best leader we have in the Caribbean. And um, also, PM, I'll talk to you all. See you soon. Okay, sure. Okay, my brother. Thank you very much. God bless. All right. All right, okay. all right my brother. Take care there. Take care there. Let's take the local line. All right. All right, the telephones. Uh, of course, it's your time there to call on the local line. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening, Mr. Simeon. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, TM. Hi, hi, good evening to you. Oh, my finger, I so love you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I am older than you, but I have nothing what to say. Yeah. But I thank you, mm -hmm. and I'm satisfied with all what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And what you are doing, you are paving the way for my grandchildren that to come. Mm -hmm. PM, thank you so, so so very much. PM, don't worry. We love you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night to you. And, and you know, we, it's not easy, you know, and we don't complain as a government and, we, we, you know, leaders not, are not supposed to complain. Leaders are to find solutions to people's problems and solutions to the country's problems. Um, but running the affairs of Dominica isn't easy, you know, there are lots of challenges and you need a lot of money to to address those challenges. You have to mobilize the money. You have to raise them. Um, then you're faced with disasters, natural disasters that were not expected or anticipated. Then, then you have these external shocks. This is for the pandemic, you know, um, that lasted has been going on for more than two years. You know, um, then you have this war. The situation with Ukraine and Russia and price of oil has gone up, petroleum prices have gone up, price of goods has gone up. You know, the government has to see how we can um, cushion the impact by removing, reducing taxes on some things. And when you reduce taxes on some things, then you're going to have a re reduction in revenue. You know, um, you have to build homes, and people criticize me for giving the homes for free. And, you know, um, but when you, sp when you spend um, sixty million dollars to build homes, and you give every one of them three free. You know, you you don't make anything back from it. You know, what I'm saying, but it is an important investment in 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 these families and these people and their welfare and well-being. Um, then you have to spend money to educate people. Yes, we may be owing the university, but the the debt is ours, not the students. You understand? So yes, we may be owing universities for students and so forth, but that's our problem. You see, um, but we commit. We continue to to help. We could have told students when COVID nineteen came, look, my friends, stay at your home. Right. But we didn't want to stymie people's people's um, 
ambition and 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 and, and a desire to, to to create a better way of life for them. Many of these children, had it been for the for the support of the government, would not be able to go to university. That's true. And all I say to students, you know, I don't you don't have to vote for me for giving you a scholarship or saying university. I I don't help people for an exchange for vote. I, I don't give you a house to. To, to vote for me, you know, you can vote for me if you want, you can don't vote for me if you want, and that's it, thank God, you know. Um, what we do and what I do as the leader of this country is because of an intrinsic motivation, commitment. I, 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 I know how people live and, and, and I understand, and this, is, this has been my life. It's not because I'm in government and behaving that way. People who I went to school with knew that if I had snack, they all get, they all got snacks, and I would stay without and help and, and give them. So, so this is this is who I am. You know what I want for myself. I want people to have it. If I want to, if I have a house, I mean, I want everybody to have a house. Sorry, sorry. You, you and and be comfortable as far as you are, you are, you are able. Mm -hmm. And and so this is what we do. This is our commitment. This is why we, why we work hard. This is why we work fifteen and sixteen, seventeen hours a day. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And and then people want to go and walk on a Wednesday and yeah, I, last week I see they got a little pill out you talk <laughs> you know, I see they go pill out there and so on, you know. <laughs> but um look bull passing around and so on. Um, you know, so um you know, they like to give you blood, they get a little something. <laughs> Everybody giving scary books, you know. Every day the man giving scary books. I just say a little figure. It's called peel out, I say, man. That's all I said, you know, peel out. They went Let me tell you something, man. You know, and... They went for a whole week, you know? unstoppable. Um, you know, but you remember when Linton go, went to to um, this place up in Scott, Sufre, Scott said, um, yes, yes. you know, when, when you share the food. Share the food there, you know. Um, he took his first. You want to take his food first, you know. You want to know who it. cook food, nothing, you know. Where the food come from, you know. Where the food nice you are. I've got to look for you, 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 you know. And so on. And Isaac was there. You know, Isaac said he bring the fish, and, you know. <laughs> Let's take a call on the local IPM. On the local I good evening to you. <laughs> oh, you almost make me sick there tonight, eh? <laughs> you almost sick? Oh, yeah, I'm going, like, trembling, like, like when the wind blows on the way. PM. Hi, hi. Say I'm good evening to you. Good evening to you. Good evening. And your family and may God continue to guide and protect you. May He direct your every path. May Thank He walk you. with you through the darkest night, the brightest day. Keep on covering yourself with the blood of Christ Jesus. No weapon that form against you shall not prosper because God is in control. Say Mommy is waiting. You know, you know everything, okay? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes. No, I spoke about your, your issue last week, as a matter of fact. So I'll, I'll come to see you soon. Yes, because okay, sure. four, four Fridays you have already promised, but I know I'll take <laughs> you. Come to this, you come to Fridays, Papa. Yes, yes I. I. Them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will surprise you. <laughs> But I have patience. I, I will I surprise you. I on the Lord Almighty. Yeah, yeah. Someday he'll make you come. I know you're Yeah, I'll come. You know, make sure when I come here. Yeah, yeah, make sure. Your back. But make I'm sure, not rushing you. We'll make sure when I, when I come, when I come, you're a spice tea for me, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I'll, 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 su I'll surprise you. <laughs> so anyway, PM. God, God bless, darling. You are doing a fantastic job in this country. Thank you. You did not come on your own. Is the thing I've been saying. Is the God Almighty, the Creator, who sent you to be the leader of this country. He sent you as his messenger to take care of this country. You are not looking for color. You are looking for everyone in this country and even abroad. So don't give up. Be strong, be bold. You see, Christ came on this earth. He suffered. You see the amount of suffering and pain that you go through, carrying Dominica on your shoulder mm -hmm. is the gift of God. You may not get the crown here, but it is waiting for you in heaven. So just keep on doing the work of the Almighty until He's ready to tell you enough is enough. Mm -hmm. But continue. Don't give up. Don't be afraid of the terrors by night, not the hours that flies by day. Be afraid of God Almighty who gave you life and can take it when you want. You will walk on the head of the scorpion. They will not harm you. You will walk on the head of the snake. 
they will not harm you. Holy Michael will defend you. May he bless you, your wife, and your children, all your families, and all the ministers and senators that they will take on your work and do what they have to do for their constituency. You have been doing a fantastic job. You have to stand by God. Indeed. And I'm saying, I'm looking at myself. I see myself and you. That is why I love you so much. And you know why I'm saying that. So continue that work you are doing. So sure. thank and you. God will continue to bless you. Sure. Thank, thank you, Mom. God be the glory. Thank Great you. things He has done. And, and, Praise His holy name. Thank, thank you, thank you God bless you. God bless and, you. And, and thank you. Only airport, I just want to say to the country yes, yes. that um, a lot of things are happening where the international airport is concerned. We 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 are finalizing the construction of of a ma major office um, complex for the for the airport. It's about a three story building in, in Wesley, uh, on, on the location of the um, former um, St Andrews High School. Um, it's, and it's right adjacent to the the, the national lab that's been constructed and um, significant uh, and expansive soil testing ha um, have been taking place over the last several months. Um, a contractor has been has been identified, and the contractor is mobilizing. Uh, so very soon, towards the, towards the summer summer time, you will see movement of earth and and and, and so forth. So there are a lot, lot of things happening mm -hmm. with regards to the international airport and. And um, we've, we're very confident for this. We we have built the homes for the people whom we had legal obligations to. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have built homes for people who we feel that we had a moral obligation to. So we had no legal obligation to them. But, you know, we, we wanted to take care of them as well. And, 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 and Plus, we had about 12 or so squatters. Mm -hmm. um, two Kalinago brothers who have been living there, working in, in, in Wesley for many years and living on Chubutin mm -hmm. there. And, so we we build in a block of about twelve single um, apartments for for um, for for twelve squatters, mm -hmm. you know, out of our more moral obligation to them, you know, that we do not want them to 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 be to be out of, of, of out in the cold, and and so very nicely done apartments we built for them, and they'll be very comfortable. Just, um, so so there, there are a lot of things happening happening um, uh, on, on on this airport, and uh, you know there'll be. Um, attempts by the opposition to give people the impression that the airport would happen. They're hoping that it won't happen. Mm -hmm. But everything they said that would not happen, yes. um, the Lord has allowed it to happen. Yes. And and we have no doubt that, that, that the international airport will be built um, for the greater good of the country. Let, let's take this call on the, on the well, the local line. We have Senior Council Anthony as the front there with 4PM. Uh, Senior Council, good evening to you, my brother. Welcome. Good evening, PM. Good evening, Indian. Good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening, Senior Council. Yeah, I almost had to call you today to help me out. Thank you. I I I listen to you, but you're all right, man. These guys, these guys, um, they they chat a lot of chat, um, but but when we are dead, they they they, they can't ask questions. I heard a guy say, you know, he, he asked the woman if she could ask, if he, if he could pass on some questions to me, but he can call mm -hmm. tonight. You you know, you can call tonight. Um, but these questions are just senseless questions baseless questions just part of the of the diet tribal in Oka's party of lies and misinformation well you see pm this is this is one of the things <clears throat> that sometimes i wonder <clears throat> if these fellows understand what being a politician means you know and i think in in your your years as prime minister since 2004 i mean you have a, you have by your conduct and your actions, um, given us the clearest lessons as to what are the, the social, economic, political obligations of a politician, which is to help and to help people. But I didn't call to make a statement. I wanted to ask you a couple questions, Pierre, if you don't mind. Because sure. people don't, I, I work with a lot of prime ministers and they don't understand how difficult the job is. Would you be able to tell us in your 20 odd years as Prime Minister, what has been the most difficult decision as Prime Minister you've had to make? Well, why, well, you know, um, I, 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 you know, I, I can't pin, point finger on one. What I would say to you in response to your question is, is that um, 
sometimes we're not in a position to help as many people at one time, you know? Um, and so even when I when we go to hand over keys, because I know the people so well in this country and the communities that we are hand over the homes, um, it always pains my heart that we can't give enough keys at, at one time. Because the reality is you, you will have given 51 keys, but there are 51 other people in the audience who, who, who are quite deserving um, at the same time, you know, but who couldn't have gotten keys because you only had 51, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, so, so these are some of the things that, um, that, that, that really um, cause some discomfort um, for me, you know, not being able to, to deliver on, on our promises sometimes in a, in a more timely fashion to, 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 to some families and individuals of them. But PM, I have to tell you, that's a fascinating answer because it, 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 tell, it tells me and it tells the listeners that, that the, hardest difficult, the hardest decision for you is to make a decision to help someone you know full well you can't help all that I fully deserve it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an extraordinary, um, how should I put it, perspective to have. You know? But Tony, you, 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 you intimated the, in, in, your, in your comments earlier about the definition of a politician. You know, even when I'm recruiting candidates, I say to them, look, this job is no long, no, it's, not, it's like none other. This is a vocation. And it is about service to people. And to come into this politics, you have to make a personal decision. You can consult your priest and your pastor and your husband, your wife, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever it is you can consult. But at the end of the day, you have to make a personal decision. Because it is a job like no other. It's about serving people. And it's about being empathetic to, towards people's um, circumstances. You know, putting your shoes in, 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 in putting your feet in somebody's shoes to, to know the person in the leaves, to, 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 to know how the person gets by and to see what you can do to make life better for the people. Mm -hmm. And you, in the process, you know, in similar fashion how uh, Christ recruited his disciples where they had to make sacrifices. Peter had to leave his fishing um, to follow Christ and others had to leave their homes without, without even having an opportunity to tell their wives that they, 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 they're living and they all had professions, you know, that, that they left behind to serve people. The reality is the Workers' Party cannot point to any sacrifice that any one of them is making no. to come to represent people. It is about a job. This is why they, 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 their ability to is, is largely only able to recruit retired people. And the next election, you're going to see a bunch of retired people <laughs> who are looking for a salary because they're getting a lower graduate or pension now. That's what it is. They're not, they're not about service. Where were you? You were 60 years old, brother. You're 65. Where were you all the time? You were a medical doctor. How many people you gave free medical care? Where were you? You see, no, nothing. It's all about themselves and they believe that, 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 that they look in, and they want to be ministers and they want to be prime minister. That's all. It's not about how to make life better for people. This is, this is hard work. Mr. Linton doesn't know what hard, what hard work is. A man walking the street and sit down by, 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 by um, Burton's there on, on the side of the road, you know, big high day. High day. You're supposed to be working at 11 o'clock. Go Concord, go, go, go Monkey Hill, go find grass. You know, go and see people, go and see how people leaving. No, nothing like that. So, so, so Tony, it's, 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 it's hard work. It's, it's highly stressful work, but it, but if you come to serve people, these things really are are, are nothing. Yeah, PM, I have a couple other questions because yeah. this is a fascinating discussion. People need to know the inside of, of those best spirit. Is, is the prime minister eight to four job? I mean, when you go home with your wife and family, does it end? Do, do you become like a prime you, you minister? You, it's it's a it's a twenty four job. <laughs> It's a 24-hour job, and in Dominica, most people have my phone number, um, you know, and, you know, we are accessible, um, but certainly it's, it's not it, it for a job where you shut off 
And anybody who shuts off after they leave the office really should not be in, in, in government. Should not, should, not, should, not, should, not, should not be in parliament. Um, you, you made the wrong decision. Um, this is about people and you can't be, you can't be exasperated. You, you, you can't shoo people away. You know, you have to give people opportunity to, to be listened to. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's, it, it can be mentally and emotionally draining. You know, and, and, and when you look at my circumstance, for example, both myself and my wife are, are, are members of parliament. You know, with two small children, we have to make sure that we, 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 we balance off and she's there to, to help with during the homework and, and, and all these things. And sometimes um, you, may not even have, you may not be able, able to do it because you, you're out there um, seeing other people, <laughs> you know, um, seeing other people. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not easy. Um, it's not easy at all. It, it, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to describe. But well, the I have the commitment no, we the commitment and the love and the desire and the motivation to help people that's what have you going. Well, PM, I have just a last question to ask you, but I must add a comment. I've listened to Mrs. Kerry. She's she's becoming a politician and not just a member of parliament. Um, and I think she's how should I be growing leaps and bounds in her role as a member of parliament. <clears throat> So, Pierre, my final question to you, because this, I'm talking to, to Roosevelt Skerritt, the man who's, who happens to be the Prime Minister. How do you find time for yourself to relax? Um, you, you make some time. You make some time. I, I, um, I, I love farming and agriculture, as you know. Um, so I try to direct some planting sometimes. And um, I, I play tennis maybe once in a, in a while, not, not as often as I should. Um, but you know, um, I I don't I don't I don't I I I don't I don't like to complain. I don't complain. You know, I do what I have to do, and <laughs> um, you know, and um, you know, the Bible says that sleep is well. Not in I'm paraphrasing, sleep is overrated. You know, so um, um, you know, we should not be lovers of sleep. <laughs> you know, and when we're young. Um, and you have to just, you know, the motivation is when when we when 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 we give somebody a home or we or we send somebody to university or we help somebody, you know, we don't have time to celebrate those things. I mean, we have to we have to have the functions and so forth and and have the ceremonies. Mm -hmm. But I am I'm moving to the next to the next task of of seeing ho how we can help others who have not been helped, you know, um, and 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 that's what it is. Well, Pierre, you yeah. walked me into my last, my last of the last question. Yeah. So, what motivates you? Do you get tired? Are you tired yeah. of being of being there twenty four seven? What no, 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 no. I what keeps you going? This, you know, um, making life better for people. And 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 the the reality is, the vast majority of people are are grateful. Um vast vast majority of people are grateful for what we do for this country what we do for them you know everybody who can who, who, who can speak openly and, and and shout it but what we know in their hearts and their minds that they're grateful for what this party has done for this country what done for themselves um and we just have to keep on doing it it's, it's and you, we, we're there to serve you know it's a vocation you know and the lord places you there and when the lord wants to get you to do something else he will reassign you um, but I, 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 I caution people against complaining, and I look at the glass half full and half empty, and and we just have to keep on pressing and trying yeah. to overcome the challenges in our efforts to make life better for people and and, and to create economic opportunities um, for more jobs, more sustainable jobs, better paying jobs, and this is what we're doing. And when you look at, for example, you know the the the, the encouragement of 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 getting them um, clear harbor into Portsmouth. And I, and I and I spoke to the vice president of Clare Harbour yesterday, and we we're gonna be um, finalizing plans to to do to prepare another building for them because they have been able to fool fool um, the, the the building that they have. So the the employment down there is, is, is has 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 gotten to the point where they like it to get into, and so they're looking to expand further, you know. Um, and we spent over two million dollars to retrofit the building for Clare Harbour. 
you know, um, so we, in our only situation, we're clear about say, well, I, I, I want to create jobs. We have facilitated the creation of the jobs. So every every youngster who has a job in Clarebo in Portsmouth, is, it, it, it is it is because of the efforts of this Labour Party government um, by identifying the building and identifying the resources to retrofit the building to the specifications of Clarebo. You know, um, this is what we 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 have been able to do. Um, so the the motivation comes from 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 a desire to make life better for everybody, and, and unless this happens, we, we will not rest. And, and we can't rest. And, and, and you only already know calling me and asking me questions. And, you know, and for me, I appreciate what people like yourself um, do, you know, and see me and all these, all these folks down here and others who do, who, who educate because they, they so many, they so, there's so much mischief out there. You know, a, a, the deliberate efforts to, to misinform people and to, and, and to, and to perpetuate lies and, and mischief. And, and people like yourselves are really at the vanguard of protecting the integrity of the country from 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 this um, you know political. I don't want to use any bad word on radio tonight. You no, know, you, know, um, you know. But but Pierre, you, but people can fill the blanks. You know. Yeah, <laughs> Pierre, there's no need for you to thank us. We, by the way, Pierre, you should tell the that I trained you to do your job as well. <laughs> Well, um, the world knows. There's no need to thank us. We, we, we need to thank you. And I wish I could stay on and talk to you, but you see, at my age, come right, when you have any crop, come, time to go to bed. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much for No, no, no thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for your question. Sure. All the best. Thank, thank you, Senior Council. Always a pleasure having you. <laughs> Let, that's, of course, uh, the telephones are going there. And um, uh, no doubt, PM, the time is running by so quickly there. Let's take this call on the local line there. Good evening on the local line. Good evening, Simeon. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, my brother, Donnie. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? Yeah, you fire me tonight, boy. For the... <laughs> <laughs> I missed you the last time. I missed you the last time. I'm good, the, thank you. That's the Army veteran. <laughs> yes, 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 sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> Over 20 years in the U.S. Army. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Indeed. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, uh, great program tonight. Um, very happy to have you on the team. Um, recently, I we saw that my, when I counted, there was 40 students who graduated from um, Midwestern. Uh, I know many government assistants and some on school scholarships. And I understand there are another 24 who will graduate from Louisiana uh, next month, uh, this, this month. Yeah. And um, I think they're all on full scholarship. And to me, that is a very fascinating reality because you know i'm um, being a former lecturer at, at, at this uh, college that we never had these numbers of students going to study before it was it, it wasn't possible mm -hmm. right today we can say we have over 70 something students graduated and a lot of people criticize the government they say that the government give people handouts. You, give, you, you have somebody for a house, they call it a handout. Now the government is em empowering young people, right? Mm -hmm. Giving them a start in life, a college degree, that they could get jobs, could, they could travel to other, other co uh, countries, they could start their own businesses. They say the government simply to study and there's no job for the people, right? I want you to put it in perspective. N knowing the background in education, how scarce these scholarships were before, and what you, what you have been able to do with your government to give so many people an opportunity to become successful in life if they take it seriously. That's, that, uh, it's not a question, yeah. but I want you to comment on this, you know, to let sure. people understand how far we've come and how much and how difficult it has been, because I know it's easy to do that with all the competing priorities, mm -hmm. but somehow you keep doing it. So just let people understand, you know, the importance of education and how far we go with this. Thank you very much. Thank, th thank you, um, Carlo. Now, the Labour Party um, has been founded on certain core principles and motivated by a desire to make life better for all of the people. This is why our motto within the Labour Party is all shall eat. 
and we came from a, a foundation of struggle, um, barefoot men, uneducated people, um, the least among us in the society, and with a desire to flatten in the playing field and ensuring that the downtrodden would give an opportunity uh, to live successful lives and the children have access to um, sound education and that the senior citizens have access to basic um, health care and, and free health care and that um, people can live peaceable lives. So we are founded on certain guiding principles. This is why when you look at Labour Party governments at any time in our history, you will see some common threads in terms of our focus on certain things. So when you look at the manifesto of, of, of Libra back in the days, you would see a focus on housing, on education, on infrastructure. Likewise, in, in the Patrick John time, you will, you will see a focus on housing, you will focus on education, access to opportunities, mm -hmm. making life better for people. Not, on, not, din, um, not being grudgeful of he who, he who has, mm -hmm. um, but ensuring that he who doesn't have is given opportunity to have at, at some point in his life. Whether it's an education, whether it's access to a, a, a piece of Dominica, whether it's a job, whether it's access to to housing, you know, and what, whether it's access to the tools of of trade, you know, your farmer, your fisherman will give you a boat and will give you an outboard motor to go and fish and to and and and, and to create wealth for yourself and 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 to put food on your on your family's table, and so in respect to so this Labour Party is focused always on a revolution in education and a revolution in healthcare. And this is why our spending on education and our spending on healthcare in Dominica um, cannot be matched by any government in our history. You know, and and, and this is a commitment. Um, and we're not grudgeful of people who succeed. I could have said easily as the Prime Minister that I, my mother sent me to school, I worked also, I mopped floors, I cooked, I washed dishes to to help pay for my for my school you know i paid school on credit cards and when i came back i took a loan at the Rosa credit union to pay off what i was owing the university before they sent me my final document i could have said that but 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 our commitment to people is not about our circumstance as individual people within the leadership of the party our commitment is to ensuring that the struggles that we went through succeeding generations and current generations don't have to go through it and so when we came into government in 2000 and we did an assessment of the education system and access to education, only 44% of primary school graduates had access to, the co to high school. <clears throat> and we know, every one of us listening to me tonight, know of somebody or some people who did not make it to secondary school, not because the person did not pass the common entrance, but because there were limited spaces at the secondary school. And before the exam, the Ministry of Education knew how many people were passing. Because they, 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 they decided on who passed based on the spaces they had identified before the exams. Mm -hmm. And 7% and, and of all high school graduates had access to the college, which means 93 out of 100 students never made it to the college. Not because the 93 did not meet the requirements, but because there were limited spaces. And governments were not prepared to spend the kind of monies that were required to create the spaces at the school. By, ha by having more classrooms, by buying more furniture, by, em by employing more teachers, by mobilizing more resources to, 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 to have the, the school supplies. Mm -hmm. And so when we came into government, and of course we know in Dominica, to have gotten a scholarship, you'd have had to know somebody in establishment and training. Mm -hmm. You'd have had to know somebody in education to, to pull a string for you to, to, to get things. The average person in Dominica couldn't have access to, 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 to this. And, and, and so even in my case, where my family were, were, were some of the strongest Freedom Party supporters in any way in Dominica, my grandmother's home was the Freedom Party headquarters in, in the Vickers constituency. That's where ministers would come and have coffee and, 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 and all the ministers would come and have lunch when they come to our meetings. That's why I, I sat next to ministers as a little boy, you know. Um, but I, I got no help from, 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 from them. And, I, I, you know, I knew Vernus Bellon. She was a member of parliament when I went to university. Um, we didn't get any help from them. I, I couldn't dare go and ask her or ask the other people because I know they won't get anything. And so I, I, I went on my mission myself. So 
So when we came to government, um, Carla, we decided we have to create a revolution in education. And I went, I went and I, after Rosie died and Pitchers became prime minister and, and, and Pitchers appointed me minister for education, I went to the cabinet with a proposal. And, and I said that we could achieve universal access to secondary education. And that was, that was in 2002, by, by in five years time, 2007. And, and we identified within the party what we needed to do to get us to achieve this universal access, meaning every child who was at primary school in grade six or grade seven at the time would have access to secondary school. And you know what happened, Simeon and Colors? Mm -hmm. We were able to achieve universal access to secondary education in 2005, two years in advance. Mm -hmm. Two years in advance. When we came into government, only about 32% of, of students in the Rose or Catford area had access to secondary school. And you would have gone to the Hansard and you would see Charles Savre, the ACAS member of parliament, um, lamenting on the on 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 the um on the on on the lack of opportunity for students in the catchment area. Students from Dalis, from La Plain and Buetica, where the Minister of Education resided. Mr. James didn't want to spend money at grammar school because he was he was he was punishing Rosa people because he said they were laughing at him when he came to school in Rosa. You know, so so he used that to formulate government policy. And so we, 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 in, we increased the investment in education in the secondary school. Uh, and so every child who, who, went to, who went to primary school had access to secondary school. Then, then we, we, I brought in Dr. Donald Peters and Dr. Dr. Thomas, Hilary Thomas, two of our, our, our f um, foremost academics in the United States. You know, and, and, and they came in and they did a, a study of our, of, of our tertiary level institutions. And I had Zacharias Pollock, you know, who, who assisted with this. And, and we developed a plan to create one single tertiary institution in Dominic, collapsing the, edit, um, the, the college, um, uh, teacher's college and nursing school and the technical and, 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 and academic wing of the college into one institution. You understand? And, and, and we had um, Mr. Way Harris drafting the legislation. When we were creating the state college, I appointed 160 people in, 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 in 10 um, groups, looking at different aspects of the college and, 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 and developing the various aspects of the college. And so 160 people, <coughs> 10 groups, 16 people per group. Okay? And then our mission was to ensure that every child who, 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 who sat the CXs would have access to the college. Obviously, you would have to meet some basic requirements. And we created the state college in record time. And one of the most fundamental points we have to remember when we created the State College, mm -hmm. is that the State College was created in 2002 at the height of the austerity program of the IMF. Yes. The height of this of 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 of, of the of, of this stuff. As and, and 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 so we created State College, and today every child has access to the college, mm -hmm. university. You know, all Mali we have access to university these days yes. because of the policy of the old party. And when I tell people. When people say, well, it's education, we must do it. The question is, why wasn't it done before Roosevelt Roosevelt became the Prime Minister of Dominica? That's a great point. Why wasn't it done? Why wasn't it done? It was not it was not done because people didn't have that vision. They didn't have a commitment. They don't they didn't appreciate the, the importance of what education can do to empower people and to get people out of poverty. They don't understand this thing. You understand? And so we have we have had a, a complete revolution in education. Now there's one thing, Simeon, mm -hmm. to create access. But you also have to ensure that people have the means of taking advantage of the access. Right. And what have we been doing in Dominica? We have at, 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 at secondary school, we provide free, free transportation. We provide, we provide free books to students, free uniforms, free shoes, free school bags. Ensuring that every child who needs it have access to these things to take advantage of the access to education, to secondary school, college. We started with tuition fees. The tuition fees were being um, largely subsidized by the government because the students were only paying about 30% of the tuition fees. The government was paying 70%. And then some years later, we, some years, or two or three years ago, what three years ago or so, we removed the tuition fees at the college. Mm -hmm. So every child has, so we give them the means of taking advantage of, of the access to education. And in many communities, we assist children with the payment of the transportation fees to attend the college. And the university is, 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 is the same. So, 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 so this is a nutshell 
the whole way we went about the revolution in education, the revolution in education and, and ensuring that people have access to education. Look at the number of specialist doctors that we have at the hospital today. Yes, yes, yes. All of them, all of these young people went to, went to specialize under Roosevelt's carriage as prime minister. So when people talk about what we're doing for young people, what we talk about what labor has done, this, this, these, are, these are the kinds of, and something we don't talk about it enough because as I said, we know we don't, we don't want to appear to be boasting because we're not a party of boasting. I'm just stating the facts and I have no notes before me, so I'm not reading from any notes anybody. I, I you know, I am just speaking off my head. Mm -hmm. Because all of these things I've been intimately involved in. Yes. You know, and, and, so, and so this is what we have been doing where education is concerned. My only hope and prayer is that our young people will be grateful for the opportunity. You know, we've sent hundreds of students to China to study and other parts of the world, negotiated scholarships for, for, for our students. And on, on my only thing is that our students can speak well of our country. Not because you're in America and you have a job that you believe that Dominica is, 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 is this and that. Right. We, we gave you the foundation that you're standing on sure. as a country. And we have to always be grateful for this and thank God for the opportunity and thank God for the, the opportunity for even getting employment, even if it's outside of Dominica. Indeed, PM. I want to ask you a question, but before we get to that, we have a call on the line there. Let's take the call. Caller, good evening to you on the overseas line. Good evening, Timo. Good evening, PM. Hi, good evening to you. I am um, very, very um, good program informing the people, um, PM. Um, I, I call that the People's Press Conference because the other side always asking for press conference so they could ask you some silly question about a $4.2 billion that they have no basis about. And now you are, you are talking with the people and not one of them is calling to ask you a sensible question because, you know, we all know that they don't have any sensible questions. So thank you for the people's press conference, I, I call it. And, and PM, I'm, 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 I'm very impressed with your government and where it has taken Dominica over the past 20 years. Um, I know a little bit of economic development. That, that was my minor in, in college. And um, what I realized, you know, economic development has to be, you know, strategic. It has to be visionary. It has to be comprehensive and sustainable. And what I'm seeing happen in Dominica, all these characteristics are being displayed in terms of the economic development in Dominica. Uh, 25 years ago, um, PM, 30 years ago in college in the United States, when I met the Jamaicans, the Antiguans, the St. Lucian, and they're talking to me about, you know, development, the only thing, I only had about one or two things to say. Um, 465 rivers, we have clean water, and we have a, 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 a Iron Lady Prime Minister. And that was it, but today, the, amount, the number of ammunition you give me when I, when I face the Jamaicans in the States and tell them about my country, it, it, it's just too much. And if I have to be, you know, if I have to be honest, I think if this government stopped doing work right now, they still deserve another 50 years in office because the amount of work that this government has done in the past, it, it, it warrants another 50 years in office. And Dominicans, as you know, are very, very smart. They, are, they, are, they keep putting this government in power for the past 20 years um, in the region some people get frustrated and they change government only to, they have to come back to the Labour Party five years after we've seen chaos in St. Kitts with the team unity because they, they got fed up of Labour they wanted something different and then they try something and it's not tasting good and they want to come back to Labour we saw it in Antigua we saw it in St. Lucia we saw it in Barbados but the people of Dominica are very very smart they're not going to change because why fix it when, it, when it's not broken. So, um, and, and PM, what, what I realize about Dominica's economic development, it, it, it looks like there is a, a strategy concerning Dominica's economic development. And, 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 and comparing it to the two part two ism economics that caused the debacle of Dominica, I see that this government have a, a, a strategy to their economic development. And, and why I'm saying that? Because first of all, when the well, first when the government came into power in, in 2000, they make sure that they put Dominic on a solid financial foundation. Because if you don't have a solid financial foundation, then you you, you cannot develop. And um, because we had to go through this, the IMF, um, 
the IMF restructuring. It, it, it was a bitter pill to swallow, but it was part of that um, strategic economic development plan. And then uh, and this government, they, 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 they look at the CBI, they review it, they reevaluate re it, and it became more transparent, more efficient, and it's one of the most robust in terms of due diligence. And as a result, we saw the benefits in terms of bringing extra revenue um, into the country because this government ha had a plan for it. We, we, we also see part of the, 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 the government economic development plan is taking care of the basic needs. Um, you, you spoke about education. Um, developing the human resource capacity of the country because any country that's going to develop and um, develop sustainably, they have to develop their um, human resource, and, I, and, 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 and that, that is clearly spelled out, spelled out in the in the policies over the past 20 years in this government. Talking about health, um, we talk about the eradication of the pit latrine water access all over the island um, to its citizens. Um, we have health centres. That are considered um, that may be considered hospitals in other countries. We're talking about a small island of, uh, like Dominica has three major hospitals. So again, I I, I am just proud of the the, the, the the economic development strategy of of of, of, of this government. It looked like it was well thought of um, for, for over the past four years, and we are reaping the benefits in terms of improved lives. We're looking at um, we have a budget right now that is over one billion dollars, first time in Dominica's history, and all because of the strategic economic development plans that this government will able to institute. We're talking about housing. Um, we have a housing revolution, five thousand homes um, PM, and if you have to average two to three people per home. You're talking about impacting the lives of 15,000 Dominicans, almost 20% of the population. That's unprecedented anywhere in the in in, in the world. So, 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 Pierre, my question for you is 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 um, did and I know the answer to that is yes, but I'll let you elaborate on it. And did you and your government sit down and really, uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, look at Dominica where you want it to be and and had an economic development plan that was so strategic that we are now seeing the, the, the benefits of housing, of sports, of, 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 of health. Um, and right now we're talking about the international airport. And what, what I'm so proud of this government is they did not put the cat before the house. They put the house first and, and, and not billion, not building an international airport first and just let it sit in here while people are still using pit latrine. You get rid of pit latrine, you talk about the health, you talk about education. Now we see now the, we see now the international airport coming in. Um, so, so it looked like it was a well thought out um, economic development plan for the past 20 years. And I'd just like you to you know, elaborate on, on all those, um, on that strategy so that Dominicans can see that <coughs> It's not a two-part tourism um, um, development plan, but it's a well thought out plan. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll listen to you off air. Yeah. So, so um, thank you, caller. I mean, we've we've always articulated a very clear plan and vision for this country. Obviously, there are times in, during the process it has been interrupted by natural disasters or, or external shocks, um, and therefore you have to um, hold back things to to address the prevailing um, challenges, you know, and, and I, I intimated to one of the aspects, for example, with regards to um, the international airport and saving to build the international airport. Here comes the Hurricane Maria. You know, those funds had to be utilized before dealing with more pressing, urgent matters conf confronting the people of Dominica. And Timmy and, and Colin, one of the things I was, I was doing as Minister of Finance also was that we had also started saving from, this, from the proceeds of the CBI um, to pay off our national debt. You know? And my plan was to pay off every single creditor we owe in Dominico mm -hmm. first. The banks, the social security, and others. Mm -hmm. And then pay off our external debt. My plan was to try to reduce our external debt to 20% of GDP. The only thing that prevented us from continuing to save for this for this period was because of the, of the hurricane. We had to 
use the funds to build homes and to buy food and et cetera, et cetera, for people. Mm -hmm. um, the risk reduction fund um, that is, has been established at the central bank, we, we put in half a million dollars um, into that fund in the event of a natural disaster. And we also have started um, a fund that would that we have we we we, we capitalize in every month to um, to to help pay off our, our national debt. You know, um, so as part of our debt reduction um, strategy. So so had it not been for this hurricane, we would we, we would we would have dramatically reduced our national debt, create more fiscal space to allow for greater access to financing to 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 do some other things that we like to do um, for the people of Dominica. And, and, and so, color yes, you know, as we mentioned, development is a process. And as you go along, you, the number of achievements, the number of, 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 of events, um, you know, and, and, and we articulated the, the strategy for on education, on health care, for example. You know, when we have to articulate the, 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 the challenge of health care, Dominica, when we came into office, when we came into office, we had one dysfunctional um, 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 uh, dialysis machine. Today we have 14 or so. You know, we had no ICU when I became Prime Minister of the country. We first had an ICU in 2005, you know, and we can go on. Today we, we're talking about MRI, today we're talking about CT scan, today we're talking about a HIFU machine, today we're talking about we have the most expansive and expensive and progressive um, center of excellence for, for eye care. You know? Beautiful place. So, so, so this is where we are with these things. You know, um, we, have, we don't have one theater, we have several theaters at the hospital. Revolutionizing the infrastructure of healthcare, smart health centers, resilient health centers. Training of, 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 of doctors, training of nurses, training of healthcare professionals. All this is part of our strategy, all this is part of our plan. Mm -hmm. And as time goes by, we've been unfolding. People people try to, to put wool over people by, by saying what Labour has done. Yes, yes. To put what Labour has done, mm -hmm. you'd have to put the country in, con in, in context of when Labour came into office. That's right. What are what we able to inherit? Every single road that any young person seeing in it today was done by this administration, mm -hmm. this Labour Party. Mm -hmm. You know? And and, and, and so this, this is where we are, and, and, and the caller was able to articulate a, a, a number of the things that I, I, I don't have to repeat. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And, and Prime Minister, as you speak there, because you spoke on a number of issues there, but <clears throat> more particularly, I want us to just um, deal with that a bit, because the critics of the Labour Party, and, and um, I listen to all the different programs of the opposition, they like to speak to the assistance that this government gives to the citizens of this country, like they call it handout, they call it a mendicant, making the people dependent, you know. And, and I ask myself, PM, I mean, what do people elect a government for? Isn't it to really serve them? And, and Mr. Simeon, you see, I keep warning Dominicans. Sometimes, if you own people, want to be bad men and they figure they, they, they want to vote somebody else. When you voted for government, this is not, this is not Russian roulette. This is, you don't play games on these things. This is about your future, your well-being, and especially that of your children. When we have children, we want the best for the children. We want what we, did, what we never had in life, we want our children to have it. That's why, that's why, that's why we work hard. You know, many of us had no children. We'll not be bothered about working too hard. You know, you know, we have two green fingers and tail side, and we are right. You know, mm -hmm. um, and and therefore, making a decision to put in a government or member of parliament is a serious decision. You don't you don't play games with this thing. That's why I always warn people. You know, don't play games with this thing. Because how you make your bed, that's how you're gonna sleep on it. And so. These guys don't understand. The point, you see, I, I keep saying to us, to lead up people, you must first love them. If you do not love people, you'll never be able to em empathize. 
with your situation, you're able to put yourself in the circumstance. This is why I tell people, you know, me, I'm the prime minister today. This is why I, I, want, I always want to walk and live and speak in humility. Because I'm the prime minister today, tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow brings. And I want people to treat me the same way I treated them when I was prime minister. And so we have yes, we care. If I, I never know. I mean, yes, we care tomorrow. I don't know. You never know. Never know. Never know. You understand? And so these people do not understand the plight of the people. This is why you never see them raising money for people. It's always money raising money for themselves. When you're a leader and you, you know, you will have access to resources, it's about sharing with people and solving people's problems. You don't go raising funds for yourself and keeping it for yourself. When people provide you with resources, it's to help people. And so they, 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 they grudge everybody who gets a little something. Yes. And they make people believe receiving a home from a government is something bad. Mm -hmm. That all of us will find ourselves in a little difficult spot. And we, need to, we want somebody... We look for somebody who can help us get out of a difficult spot. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You may have money in the bank, Simeon, but sometimes you look it up and down inside your house for a dollar. That is true. And some coins that you don't use normally, you have to look on them because you go down the road because you, have, you, you, you know. You have to go in the cash in. You, 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 have, you have to go in the cash in. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see what I'm saying? So. These guys don't see that because it's not about people. It's not about human beings. It's about them only. It's not about the next door neighbor. Mr. Lincoln, Mr. Lincoln doesn't care who, who eat and who don't eat. Once he eat, see, I mean, once he eat, you don't worry about that. And that's the attitude of the Workers' Party. This is why they messed up in four and a half years. You know? This is why they messed up. Because it was never about the people. It was about themselves. So they, they put money at the aid bank. And it was about a few people getting it rather than the people. Yes. Yes. They have not changed. It's the same Workers' Party when they were founded in 1980 something. It's all about themselves. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing. They can put all kinds of different clothes they want. It's the same party that doesn't care about people, that's vindictive, mm -hmm. that, that, has, that, that, that has within them a hatred. So, when you have a, 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 a people who want to represent people, you have people in parliament. Mm -hmm. When you represent in your country in parliament, parliament being the highest court of the land, the highest institution of the land, you must have a sense of national pride. Mm -hmm. And you must, you must be able to defend the patrimony of your country, speak positively about Dominica. But when you're a member of parliament, and you like, you like to call himself the prime minister in waiting, waiting, yeah. which, 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 where, where, <laughs> waiting? <laughs> Which prime minister are waiting you can never be in Dominica? Waiting when? <laughs> waiting when? You know? Waiting when? So this guy, these guys, are not, they don't care about people, my brother. They don't care about people. And so this is why they will always want to tell people to hand out and you give them a hand out and so forth. Hand out. So... Let's take some calls Let, for the next few minutes. We have. Yes, let's take as many calls we have. Let's go. We have another call uh, there. As, Overseas, as like caller. Good evening to you. <laughs> good, good, good evening, Simo. Uh, good evening, PM. Um, greetings, greetings. Fine. Greetings, my dear friend. Uh, you just asked a question before I make my comments. Just ask a question. Uh, waiting how? The guy said he's waiting on you. One morning you'll wake up on Monday morning and call him. And tell him come to be the prime minister. That, that's what he's waiting on right now. Uh, that's just a light moment. <laughs> but PM, I just want to, I just want to, um, first of all, um, thank you for your astute and prudent leadership of this country. Um, would have seen your leadership um, throughout the last 20 years, but especially when the country was going through its most difficult times. One of which was. Um, Hurricane Maria, um, you know, um, the, the Erica storm that devastated us too, and re most recently um, the COVID-19 period that you so um, prudently manage um, in terms of making sure the citizens of our country um, got 
first the vaccines and every other thing that was needed uh, so we could be safe and secure from this dreadful um, um, pandemic. Um, but where I want to go, PM, I, 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 is the, the, your most recent award that was given to you, the Jose Mati Award in Cuba. Um, that in itself encapsulates, um, if not most, but all of your service, not only to Dominica, but to uh, other Caribbean islands and by extension the world. We would have listened to the opposition um, comments on this and criticized you, actually, and criticized the government of Cuba for giving you such or uh, putting you in such high esteem to give you one of the greatest awards the country could ever offer, which puts you with, um, you know, guys like um, Mandela and, and others who have received that award. Um, my question to you, PM, is um, what is your what's your take on that first of all, and what do you have to say in terms of the the opposition and their con their, their their business and and senseless comments, not only on you but on the on on a, on a country that we have so much a nice cordial relationship with. Thank you, and I'll be listening to you. And have a, have a good night, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Well, first of all, on on the issue of the award and so on. I mean, um, I, I I accepted the award. Um, from Cuba, the order from the award from Cuba with the greatest sense of humility, and I accepted the award really on behalf of the people of Dominica. And people who know me, um, I come from a social democratic background. You know, I prefer not to be in the spotlight. You know, contrary to what many people think. You know, um, um, you know, so. You know, it it is it is it was it, it it has been a huge honor at my age to be recognized by a country, um, a country that has maintained the profoundness of its dignity in the face of adversity. Um, to be recognized by 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 the people, the president and the people of Cuba is a is is is, is a is a huge honor, uh, which I accept with the and I accept it with the of humility. You know the, the 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 reality is with the UDLP is that they do not understand they don't understand relationships. They do not understand how government functions. They're indifferent. They're ignorant. Um, they don't want to learn. Um, you know, and these are the guys who want to parade themselves as a government in waiting. You know, they, you know. I, it was kind of, I can't kind of find the words to, you know, describe these people. It, it, it is just mind-boggling, you know, um, the, the 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 level of stupidity that these people exemplify, and and the level of ignorance that they exemplify. Um, no scruples, nothing whatsoever. No no principles, and and when you have no principles and so on, you 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 you, you can do and say anything. You know, you can do and say anything, and and this is why I'm always cautioning, not warning, kind of supposed to warn people, and cautioning the Dominican people that you can't ever make the mistake of voting these people in. You know, they they the bad news and to to for the, for this country and for the region. You know, um, terrible. Indeed, indeed. Let, let's take a call on the local line. PM, all the telephones that are going. Caller, good evening on the local line. Hello, good night, PM. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yes, um, you know, PM, you will have an appointment for tomorrow. Okay. Yes, we have an appointment for tomorrow because it will be a long time i trying to get you and it is very urgent, PM. Okay. And I think you have to take care of this. Okay. But PM, I want to applaud you because your voice has been heard. I hear Joe Biden said like that he's going to listen to your crying and you know, just like when as God sent Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go, God sent you to tell America this injustice that they are doing to our God, that this is not good. And that is the power that God invested in you. So PM, you know, this afternoon I was in a place and I hear a dog barking. But I wonder what, with that dog, I thought his dream I was dreaming. When I do catch up, I hear him burning in that race from the dead again. But PM, those people there, you not know, to give yourself problem with them because we all, we your disciples, can take care of them and will teach them the lesson at the appropriate time. 
PM, yes, are you joining with me and, and are you ready for us to see that we give the opposition a clean sweep in the next election that is coming, PM? Well, it's, it's very possible. You know what, but PM, we're going to something. Possible. A whole set of stupid people. PM, let me tell you something. You have been called by the power of the Almighty to do your job. And you are doing your job very good. And we Dominican, 90% of us, we accepted what you are doing for Dominica. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I feel for you, I wonder, but how oh, this young man is doing that. Think that you left all your good life, you could enjoy, you left your family, you left everything for you to see. You take out Dominica from the hands of the disaster that UWP left. Big up to you, PM. Yeah, thank and you. we are thank praying you. that you have the strength that you continue. So, PM, that's my number. My number is 245 yeah. You can take that down. And uh, and another number giving you the same number, you always know, 6139151. So I have an appointment to see you. I'll be by your office about 10 o'clock, 10.30 tomorrow. Yes, sir. If you're not available, you can let me know. Uh, I'll call you. Yeah. Okay, sir. <laughs> good night, PM, and okay. have a good night, and continue enjoy the power that God has invested in you. Who sure. get, get lost. Sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, yeah. my boy. And, and, <laughs> thank you. Just to say to, to the listeners, you know, yes. as, you, as you would have known, we have started the reconstruction of the grammar school. Mm -hmm. um, this is a $24 million contract and project. And, um, you know, we have, we have just commissioned three new primary school essentially new primary schools Dailies, Mont John, River Sirik, and um, the Will Strathmore um, primary school at the Will Strathmore primary school we spent 2.1 million dollars and the power when there the ceremony I mean you, I mean you could have brought a few pencils for the people mm -hmm. uh, for the students there and a few erasers mm -hmm. you know um, so 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 there are a lot of positive things happening in there you know, um, a lot of homes, as you, as you said, building, we're building a health center in, in, in Cottage. You know, we, we're finalizing plans for St. Joseph and Rosa Central. You know, um, you know, I want to say to my friends in Woodford Hill and, and Palm Tree that we're working on the, on the plans for the homes. Yeah, we've acquired the lands to, to build the homes for you, and so we come in river. I'm hoping to come myself personally very soon. There's a small community in, in, the, in the village of Benz that I, I am particularly interested in, in Simon. You know, that we have to dramatically address the housing situation for them there, and I'm hoping to come there um, very soon to, to visit them and to share with them the plans um, for the development there. Indeed. Oh, on, on, the, on the overseas line there, Carla, good evening to you. Good evening. Yes, so how are you? <laughs> I am very well, I am very well. Uh, it is a pleasure to hear a prime minister on the radio station on a Tuesday night speaking with the people of Dominica. Is that a function of age, sir? Is that a function <laughs> of youth? I mean, I, I mean, you're an educator. You know, I long to have an interview with you. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> so we, can, we, can we, we can arrange it and so. Is either, is either you interview me or I interview <laughs> you, or we can do both. I prefer you interview me. <laughs> you know, I have, I, have the, I have the highest regard for you, you know. Um, oh, man. You know, but yeah. it is a pleasure. Thank you very much. I am delighted to hear you and the work that, that you do. As a quick question. Um, what does Cuba mean to you personally? After Jose Marti Award, excellent. What does Cuba mean to your heart, your mind, your soul, you personally? And, and generally, just look at Cuba's contribution to Dominica. Um, yeah. If you find the time, probably you may say something about disability and, and the Disability Commission. Sure. But certainly a pleasure and how important that is for Dominica going forward. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank well, you, you know, Cuba, I've, I've, I started studying Cuba since I was in primary school, you know, reading up on Cuba and reading up on the Cuban Revolution um, from all well, Priority Revolution, reading up on on on, on Batista uh, when he was president there, and then the the um, the efforts by by the Cubans to 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 restore the rule of law in Cuba, and led by Fidel and Chico Ferrer and all the other revolutionaries. So I started reading up on this. Um, 
and there's an important book that I think some people need to read. It's from Columbus to Castro, written by an American lady. Um, it's, it's an important book that people should read. And to tell it reading up on the struggles of the Cuban Revolution. So, so my my interest in Cuba did not come about because as a result of me being the prime minister of the country. I've already always studied history and um, ancient history and contemporary history. I was a student of history. Um, my support for Cuba and the call of, to remove the blockade against Cuba is not be, is not because of any animosity towards the United States of America. Not at all. You know, we believe that um, the embargo is unjust and the Cuban people have a right to self-determination um, and to the system of government that they, that, that, they, that they should have. There are many Western countries where the head of state is not elected by the people. There are no elections or anything. So, you know, um, and Cuba has its method of elections and that is their political system. There's a system of government. But that does not justify the, the, the embargo. And even when President Biden came into office and we met President Obama, we met President Obama in Trinidad, for example, and we shared with him the, the relationship that we have with, with, that we've had with Cuba, he was totally taken aback. He wasn't aware of the extent of the contribution of Cuba to, to CARICOM. You know, and, and if you go back to the, 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 the days of that um, summit of the Americas in Trinidad and Obama having the press conference at the top of the Hilton Hotel, um, he said so at the press conference that he, he just met CARICOM leaders and he was amazed at the extent of the support of Cuba by Cuba to, to, to the Caribbean nations. Um, Obama, in his last term, you know, seek to take decisions towards the normalization of relations with Cuba. They opened embassies and Obama himself visited Cuba. Um, he put in a number of, of, of um, executive um, decisions and to, to, to enhance the relationship, there the, was potential for investments of Americans in Cuba, the many flights and so forth. So it was a good positive step in the right direction, though ultimately the ultimate thing we wanted was the removal of the embargo, but you welcome every positive step into, into the direction. Um, Mr. Trump re, um, reversed those decisions and all we've been asking of, of um, Mr. Biden in the first instance is to reinstate the decisions of Obama, and he served as Obama's vice president um, um, for for that period of time. So our our call is a, is a call of justice, and because the Cuban people, if the if the embargo is removed from the Cuban people, one can appreciate the kind of contribution that Cuba could make to humanity, the kind of contribution that they have made to humanity, notwithstanding the the, the embargo. And and those of us as black people and who who believe in the emancipation of people and 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 the freedoms of people, you know. Where more can we look and, and celebrate the, 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 the freedom of people from apartheid or colonialism or imperialism, you know, um, genocide against the African brothers and sisters? And Cuba played a significant role in the struggles of, of, of apartheid and supporting the ANC in its efforts towards um, ensuring that black people in South Africa, um, brown people in South Africa, had a right um, to, to, to be considered to be human beings. and. The, 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 the fight for independence and the freedom of the people in Angola, you know, um, and, and, and the kind of, of, of support that Cuba gave to Angola to build a nation with doctors and nurses and economists and, 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 and teachers and to, 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 to educate people. And look across Africa and across the world, we in Dominica, we in the Caribbean. And we're not, I don't support countries, I don't support people based on what they give me or they can give me or the support they give to our country, no. You know, we we develop friendships, we develop we develop relationships. If during the process of friendship and relationships, we can help each other, we help each other. But it's a fundamental principle. We stand on principle. We're not anti-America. And I say so to all my American people I met all the time. What is the vice president or the president or the, the, the folks from the State Department or the embassy? We 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 have the greatest affinity towards the United States of America. Uh, our families are, are there. We, we've been. We went to school there. They're they're, they're 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 an important ally to us. You know, they can do a lot more for us in the Caribbean, Dominica included. Um, and and um, we don't we don't always agree on certain things, certain decisions. Like you know, who, who agrees on everything you do anyway? Um, but we have to stand on principle, and and sometimes standing on principle. Um, you know, you place yourself individually, and myself as the leader of the country, and certainly the country sometimes at the um, 
you know, and uh, people may try things with you because of that, you know, but you don't go compromising on the principles and we stand in total and absolute solidarity with the Cuban people and the Cuban revolution and, 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 and we continue to call for the removal of the bag and, and any right thinking person. And if you go to the polls have been conducted in the United States over many years, mm -hmm. Um, where the majority of Americans believe that um, the embargo should be removed. Um, and at the United Nations, you know, um, only two countries support to uh, support, uh, do not support the resolution calling for the removal of the embargo. Mm -hmm. That's the United States and, and one other country. That's it. Every country in the world, mm -hmm. you know, essentially. Um, and I believe that President Biden and President Obama, President Clinton, would have loved to remove the embargo on Cuba because they they have that ideological thinking. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's always the politics in, in Washington and the United States, and I respect that, that the president is a politician. He has to be mindful of his, of, of, of his party's um, opportunities and, 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 you know, and ensuring that, you know, he can respond to, to many, so many different interest groups within the Democratic Party itself, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, far more for the country. Mm -hmm. and, and so we respect that. Um, and so we will continue to work with the United States. Um, at, at the end of the day, I said both to the Cuban president and the, and the American people, American government, that at the end of the day, what the type of relationship that the United States of America ha will eventually have, that's more for two of them. That's bilateral relations. But in so far as the, the, the issue of justice, the issue of, of um, principles and so on, um, we stand in in solidarity with the Cuban people, as we did with the, with the um, apartheid and as we do with struggles of countries in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Of course, PM, it's already 11 and 8 past 11, but um, all the telephones are still going, so let's just take a couple of the calls again before you leave here tonight. Caller on the overseas line, good evening. Good evening. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Cold man, cold man. Good night. Hi. And Madam, Madam Guada also said good night for UPM. Hi, how are you, my friend? How are you? You are, I'm fine, man. Everything is safe. PM, you are blessed under God. God will put you there. PM, and no one can touch you. And I want to know tomorrow where they go, if they go into the sea tomorrow. <laughs> Because they were in the cemetery, so maybe tomorrow they were in, they were going in this city. But I want to make them know, they will come to arrive. They will come to continue to arrive. Sorry. And PM, maybe any time I'm in Dominica, go out and pass and see you. Sure, of course. You are of my course. prime minister. We love you. Thank you. And none of them can going to talk to you, PM. We pray for you every day. Thank you very much. Man. You are blessed. Thank you. Right. Yes, I. One love, God. One love, one love. Local line there. Good evening to you. Good night. Good night, my Prime Minister. Hi, good evening to you. And how are you? I'm very well, thank you. My Prime Minister, we love you and I pray for you every day. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'm calling from Eglistan. Eglistan. Yeah. I love you, love you, love you, and God with you. Nothing can touch you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. And drive safe home. Sure. Thank you much. Have a wonderful night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank. Thank you, my dear. Now, PM, before we leave there, you know, the the question of why wasn't it done, you know, before comes into mind. You know, many people meet me and they talk about what has labor done. Oh, um, um, oh, well, you know, labor build a stadium, labor build this, like as if, you know, it's like these things can just be done just like that. And I usually say to them that. You came in as Prime Minister, but there were many other Prime Ministers before you and Premiers and other persons obviously took on the mantle of this country. Many of them wanted to build large roads. I'm sure airport was. I, I looked at a manifesto of many years ago, even when in the time when Patrick John was Prime Minister, you know, airport, international airport, all these things were always part of the plans, but somehow they could never arrive at doing it. But some people, PM, in today's society, Take all of these things that you are doing for granted because they think that it can just be done, you know, by the snap of the finger. Well, you know, um, it's okay for them to think that way. Um, but um, as they say, who is in the kitchen feel the heat, you know? So, <laughs> um, 
and we don't complain about these things. Mm -hmm. We have, we don't complain about hard work. We, we have a job to do, and we work towards the realization of the job. Um, our preoccupation is improving the lives of Dominican people, our Dominican families, ensuring that we can give our young people hope about a, a better future, and to ensure that. Um, the senior citizens who have worked diligently that they can get their pensions and those who are not entitled to legal pensions that the state can provide some kind of support to them. That we want to ensure that people have access to education, not only basic education, but education across the board. Um, to ensure that um, people have access not only to basic health care, but health care across the board. Whether they can afford to pay or not, they should have access to it. And to um, improve the economic well-being of the country so that more sustainable jobs can be created, better paying jobs can be created, and all people can remain in Dominica and, and live peaceable and successful lives. Mm -hmm. But all of, this, all of these things is a process, you know? And there are things that you have to achieve as, 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 as individuals, um, you know, and working together with the government, we can work towards achieving those things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people must not um, people must look at government also from their own family perspectives. There are a lot of things that we would like to do for our children, um, but we can't afford to do it, and therefore we have to wait until we can raise the funds to do some other things. If if all of the promises that we made for to our children, we had the money to do it, you, don't you think we'd do all of it? Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, we build a home. We may want to have a four-bedroom home, but... We can only afford a two-bedroom two for the time. So we do a two-bedroom, and when we get a little money, we buy some blocks, we put it there. We, 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 PH Williams have some sand on, on um, discount. We go and buy a little sand, we put it there, we cover it with some galvanized, and we, we get a little money, we get a little cement, and then we can um, start something, you know? And that's how, that's how it is, you know? Um, we as a family, we plan to do something, but an emergency comes up. We have to take the money that we save to, to do something else, you know? Um, so now we have to go to this um, fast money business to, 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 because some emergency comes in and we can't get the money at the bank. We go to these money services and we loan two thousand dollars to address this particular issue. So, so that that's how the government functions. And 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 albeit we have it at a at a, at a, at a more expansive uh, operation, mm -hmm. um, but. Anybody who is saying that the Labour Party has not done anything in this country for 20 years is, is really is really speaking a, a very transparent lie. You know, um, you you can say that you would like to see this happen and that happen, but right. this Labour Party has certainly transformed Dominica. Mm -hmm. I mean, let, let us just reflect honestly mm -hmm. um, where we were and, and and if we're not affected by these natural disasters, um, Ophelia the the trough um, of 2013, the earthquake of 20 of 2004, mm -hmm. um, the international financial crisis that lasted for about eight years or more, the oil crisis that that, that, that caused um, the price of oil to go beyond the the, 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 the skies. Mm -hmm. um, we had external shocks with war in Iraq, war in Kuwait and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, in Afghanistan that affected. Um, or countries, you know, you have now this pandemic that's going for over two and a half years. Mm -hmm. All of these things impact um, your ability to deliver on what you plan to do. Mm -hmm. these, are, these, are, these are interruptions. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you're trying to, if you're driving from Rosa to Vegas and your clutch go, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or your, or your, or your, or your brakes go, it's an interruption. Yes. You know, you have to park the vehicle on the side and hit a ride and wait when you can change the brakes to, 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 to move on. You may have to call a truck to tow it. So, right. so all, all of these are interruptions that you have in your, on your journey, on yeah. your path. Yeah. And you have to find money to, to, to address these things, mm -hmm. to continue on your journey. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and, and, and so you, you'll get to Vegas later, or you may not have to get, you may not get to Vegas at all because at all. you may have to go back to town because right. you, 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 you know, you have to get the vehicle at a particular time. Mm -hmm. So these are things that we have to do. Mm -hmm. we, we, have to, we, have, we, have, we have to we have to continue to do and, and, and to press on. Mm -hmm. And one has to understand this. When you look at, for example, the road from Emerald Pool through the Carnival Territory at Kingston Pig, $127 million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, 
127 million dollars that's a significant amount of money to spend oh, yes. on a road oh, yes. you know mm -hmm. um but it has to be spent because that's how you're going to help create opportunities for the people who reside there if there are better roads um you improve the opportunities for commerce you improve you, you increase the value of their properties somebody who 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 had a business idea but not many people come to castle bruce and, and and when you see people come to castle because of the road and he will he will invest and mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. people hold the guest house, you know, more people could go through the Calago territory. Mm -hmm. If the roads are improved, more people go through the Calago territory and buy craft and, and, and buy cassava and, 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 and buy in the shops and spend money in the Calago territory. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's, what, that's what it is. And agriculture will, will improve because you, are, you have access to better, better roads, mm -hmm. you, you know. Um, it will be reduced wear and tear on your vehicle eventually. Mm -hmm. Less on 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 shocks, less on brakes, mm -hmm. less on changing of tires, mm -hmm. le less gas because you you you, you get into a place in, in 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 a quicker time. You know, um. So 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 there are a number of less opportunities for accidents and mm -hmm. you know. So so there are a number of of of, of benefits of those investments. Yes. Um, and. This is why governments never spend those kind of monies on things because they were looking at it from purely from a narrow sense. Mm -hmm. When you look at Eggleston and Gerald, I was there some time ago, <coughs> preparing for the flower show and talking to our friends, the, the Alfreds and, 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 and Mrs. Alexander and others in the power play and so on, municipal tourism. We spent close to $8 million in the water project in Eggleston and Gerald. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a suburban area. Yes, yes. Governments did not. The Freedom Party did not spend the money because they did not spend the money because they were looking at it from an economic standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, if you spend $7 million on a water project if, with X number of people living in Eggleston and Jordan and Castle Comfort, you'll never be able to make the money back. Mm -hmm. You know, so they look at it purely from an economic standpoint. Right, but we right. look at it, but we looked at it differently. Mm -hmm. We felt that access to potable water, fresh quality potable water is good for your health and and it's good for the wealth of the people. So we look at it from a social investment standpoint mm -hmm. rather than an economic standpoint. And we know we have to be paying down like and buying a generator because you need a pump to pump the water because of the elevation. Right. You, you, so mm -hmm. there's a huge recurrent cost added to the to the to the provision of the water. Mm -hmm. So Dominic Dom the Wasco will never be able to charge you to the extent that they need to charge you to to even pay for the loan. Right. Pay for the monies that, that we have given the to Wasco to invest in there. Mm -hmm. And, and, and these are the kind of things that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, when we came into government, you know, we're talking about goodwill, uh, uh, an urban area. You had asbestos pipe mm -hmm. supplying people with water. I was totally shocked when we became prime minister to know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Asbestos. You know? Mm -hmm. um, today, we 99% of Dominican communities have access to potable water. Mm -hmm. You know? So so look at, the, look at the health system and how we have dramatically transform the healthcare system. You know, we have more businesses in Dominica. Mm -hmm. You know, more local Dominicans are empowered to, to invest and have various type of businesses. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, even you know, when you look at yourself and mm -hmm. you 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 have vehicles driving, you have homes, you have land, you have mm -hmm. you all of these things you got on the on, on the on the us, on the labor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So so the, the the cup is not full, right. it's not overflowing yet, but we're on our way to that, and 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 drop by drop, um, the cup is being filled, and when we're very, very grateful for this, and we're very grateful to the Lord for for all our benefactors, and and the people of Dominica, mm -hmm. people who who generally understand, um, how difficult it is to run this country, and who are appreciative of what the government is doing for the people of Dominica. And, and and I believe that people are right when they say thank God for, for labor. Mm -hmm. And that labor cares. You know? And really and it's unfortunate because it'd be good to have <coughs> both political parties showing a seriousness and a, and, a, and a sense of care and empathy for people. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately the only political institution in this country that cares for people that empathizes with people's circumstance is the is, is the Dominican Labour Party. Party. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it could not be so glaring. You know, and and and, and I shudder when you, you think of the Workers' Party being in government. That'd be that be disastrous for the country. Oh, we yes. saw it. Oh, yes. We saw what happened between nineteen ninety five and two thousand. Mm -hmm. And that group is even worse because they don't have the 
the, 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 the modicum of understanding of how government functions. Mm -hmm. The lazy, the, 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 the indifferent, you know, they all re most of them are retired people. I have no problem with retired people. There are people who are retired who were who, who, who energetic mm -hmm. and, and who are concerned about the welfare of the country. Look at it. They're not interested. There's a job they're looking for. Yes, yes, yes. You know, we never this lady in Cassie Bruce, they ask her four elections, they ask her, she said no. <laughs> she, the moment she, she no longer working, then that's when they want, they want, they want to come forward. That's and that's what you're going to see. That's what you're going to see. And when you have a party, um, you have to have a mix of exp of experience, a mix of youth and so on. When you have a workers' party, they've kicked out every young person within the party. You know? yes, 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 yes. They've kicked out everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The average age of the executive of the workers' party is 73 years. Wow. <laughs> no room for young people. 73 years. I mean, Spag is neither here nor there, mm -hmm. but he was the vice president, he gave it up. Yes. <clears throat> and who they put as vice president? Hmm. Not a senior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Senior. I mean, so uh, they're just not ready. You know, you know so so, so Simeon, it's 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 late, it's and people 23 22, past. 23 past, 23 past, 20, 23 past 11. 11 yes, I've been here since 8:45. It's, it's been, and, it's I, and been. I think it's time to leave. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> but PM, let's just take two more calls before you leave. We'll take this call on the overseas line. Overseas line, caller, you are there with us. Caller, good evening. Hello, good evening, Mr. Albert. Hi, good evening. Um, good evening. Good evening to my honorable PM. Hi, good evening to you, my dear. Good evening to you. Anyway, Mr. Albert, you're in good company. I sweat, I sweat, I sweat until I glad I get free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. PM, um, I would like to tell you, thank you very much for what you are doing for the people of Dominica. Miss, hey. hello? Yeah, we, we're there, we're there. We're there you. Um, I would like to tell you, thank you very much, you and your team, what you are doing for the people of Dominica. Mr. PM, in my 81 years of sailing to Dominica, I never see these things are happening in our country. Um, the roads, the healthcare system, um, let me to know it. So. The care, the, yes, you care for the elderly. Mr. PM, you, um, and in the education system, Mr. PM. Oh my God. Mr. PM, my nose was flat. When I was listen, I watch in Facebook these days, and I seen the amount of graduates from Dominica. I say, what? No, man. This, and, and when some people have tell me, this government is not working. I don't know if they're living in some to or they're living in, from, in the land of, I don't know where. But PM, you are doing an excellent job. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to start, thank you. I thank you, Chiso, for what you have been doing. Because things that you, um, that had to do many moons ago, the past prime, prime ministers that, and them that were there, they didn't lay a foundation for you to, to start up. Even the big man above, Put you to this test of time. You're the only prime minister that doesn't have it nice in the white government because the damn it, you had the trough, we had Maria, we had all kind of a weather. Because I can, I can tell you, one time I was in Dominica, and it took one Saturday to destroy. When I see all the roads destroying for small, one shower rain come down. Okay, you didn't have it easy, but I don't know, Mr. PM, you have a magic wand from here. Let's get the, the, the books to be done, done. I need that magic one tomorrow, please. <laughs> thank you. And I, I, I thank you for, for your calls every day. I, I hear you every day. I just want to remind you, call uh, it. Mr. PM. Yeah. Le yes. Let me tell you something. I had to tell Liz, imagine my mother, you know, your friend, my wallet. Mm -hmm. She was in hospital. She made four days last week in the hospital. And Mr. PM, the hospital bill is 900 euros a night. I had to tell the doctor. Sam, you know if I was in Dominica, my mother wouldn't have to be paying no bills. Mm -hmm. It would be for free. I tell the, 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 the people only what that. And look at me. And so you, you can do the math, Mr. P. Yeah, so you should course. know how much I have to be paid. And plus there's MRI, they, they, they do and all this kind of a scan they have to do. Not including you. Yeah. So I could tell you, Mr. P. M. Dominica is on the right path. We are on the right track. Okay, and thank God for you. You have a place in heaven, Mr. PM. Those that I want people to say. You know, the critics still always, they'll always be there to criticize that other what they can't say. And Mr. PM, one more thing. 
I do not ask him a question as a prime minister, no? as he was a former teacher. Mm. What is the difference between um, giving something to you and passing a collection box all over the place? place? <laughs> what is the difference to that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I know they can beg, but they're accusing people of, of, of begging, you know. Um, the, the, the Simeon, the, the, the book from Columbus to Castro, which I'm recommending that, that a lot of youngsters read, um, was actually written by, by Dr. Eric Williams. Mm -hmm. so, it's a, so it's a book that, that, that's important to read, and so one can have a, a very synopsis of, you know, of, of, of the historical facts. Yeah. But, but Simeon, I have to, I have to go. Yes, indeed, um, PM. The folks have to sleep. Indeed, indeed. And, um, but they, they have all the lines blowing. It's like they don't want to go. Let's take one on the local line though before you leave. Yeah. Let's take one. Call on the local line or final calls for the night. Good evening. I've been trying to call since 8 o'clock. And finally, <laughs> I managed to succeed. Yes, sir. In our society, there are genuine people and real people. But I am personally a genuine person. I am a genuine supporter of the Labour Party. Mm. I've been supporting Labour for years. And I think I'm... I'm quite older than the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And I've been supporting the for years and for years and for years. And Mr. Prime Minister, I recently visited you. It's more probably than almost a year now. And the moment you saw me, I mean, you know me personally, eh? I come from, from the small western coast village of Dominica. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you described me as being a as professor, because I know quite a bit of history. But I don't know how comes realistic people and genuine people that 100% support for the ball. Sometimes cannot be successful. And up till now, I'm got. We said, no result from you, from whatever. Because I was brought in to here at the offices, two other guys from my village. Mm -hmm. And as a result of Mr. Shanks, we described as being the capital of the Labour Party in Party in um, School of History. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe if you can think, you know who's speaking, because you know me personally. I mean, I was a very strong supporter of, of, of the late Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas. He was guy who always spoke to me about you, that one day you will be the Prime Minister. He always said, whenever I visit him at his home in Portsmouth when I was working at FTP. And I'm genuinely strong. There are some guys, they have one foot in, one foot out. I'm, not, I'm just totally strong support of labor. And how this person asking, how comes it that the Prime Minister, some genuine supporters like me, cannot be realistic and successful? Because I really need justice. Okay, that. I, 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 I appreciate. I appreciate. Um, yeah, I'm a strong supporter. Yeah, we, we, we will. We will. Um, we will. We will make contact with you. Okay. You know which people I'm speaking to. Yeah, I, I recognize. I recognize. <laughs> okay, I appreciate the call. Um, yes. So we'll be contacting you tomorrow morning. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you. you. I, I, thank you. Yes. Um, so thank SPM. You, thank again. you for being here tonight. Um, Always a for, pleasure for, for having me. Always a um, I want to thank you for the work that you're doing for this country. Yes, indeed. Um, you know, it's always important to to set the, the facts mm -hmm. straight and to and to educate and inform the people factually. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you've been doing on, on the next level. Indeed, indeed. Um, and to the many callers, you know, this is, our, this is our country, and we have to continue to build our country. And where we want our country to be, then we have to make a contribution. Yes, yes. We in the government, in the Labour Party, committed to this. As I said we will not be able to solve everybody's problems at the same time, or issues at the same time. Right, right, yeah. But we're working towards that. We're working towards this. Mm -hmm. And um, we we cannot house everybody at the same time, but mm -hmm. if we house one person, that's one person less who is in a vulnerable state. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, we're committed to the country, we're committed to the citizens of Dominica. Um, our commitment as a party is, is on dying, on, on, on wavering, um, and notwithstanding the challenges, we will we'll press on. Uh, we're not afraid of challenges. We, we know what challenges are and, and difficulties. We have had to face uh, many such um, difficulties and challenges. And, and I believe that if people are honest with themselves, they would certainly give us high commendation for, for the manner in which we have been able to, um, to deal with these challenges. And, um, um, and sometimes, because we don't complain, you know, because I tell people leaders don't complain. Right. Leaders have to find solutions to problems. Mm -hmm. um, people sometimes take, take what we do for granted or, or they believe it's easy. And mm -hmm. um, we have to continue working together. And, and I'm satisfied and confident that the Labour Party is the only serious political institution in Dominica that is concerned with the welfare and well-being of Dominicans. Yes. Uh, the other side is not prepared to make any sacrifices it's about themselves. Mm -hmm. you know, so men are retired, no men looking for additional income. Mm -hmm. 
you know, so they'll pretend that they're moving around and they'll go to a funeral. No, I mean, if, you, if you're 63 years, you don't want, you don't first sense more die. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, right, right. and so these people, not even, they're not even looking after their families and, you know, but they want to go and represent people. If you're not going to, if you wouldn't, if you know in a circumstance not taking care of your children or you're not taking care of your families, and mm -hmm. how, how are you going to represent people? Mm -hmm. If you do not have empathy for your own people, how are you going to have empathy for people that you do not know? Mm -hmm. Or you've not met, mm -hmm. you know. It's all about themselves, yes, yes. you know. And, and so Dominicans, we have to be, we have to continue to be wise, mm -hmm. and sensible for of our decisions. You know, life things will not be always working out for us, but we have to look at the greater good. That's right. The greater good of the country, you know, and the greater good of the country is better placed with the Dominican Labour Party leading it. That's right. You know. So thank you very much, Simon, for having me. Thank you again. Um, I think we went way over your time you know normally it's usually when, I, when i come there you ask me so many questions and you, <laughs> it, you, it's usually you, our time you in your, in your usual um smooth way you, you you keep me you keep me there for for a very long time so i, I it's always a pleasure um but, but pleasure is mine and, and this is what it's about and it did um speaking to the public is is, is is one of the most important and exciting part of the job that's right and hearing their dreams and aspirations and where we have not been able to assist them as in the case of the last caller who mm -hmm. who, are, who appears to have a genuine concern and we'll mm -hmm. work towards fixing this indeed um you know and, and 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 that's what life is about sure but thank you good night have a wonderful evening and thank you all of you have a wonderful day tomorrow thank you pm thank, thank you. you again always a pleasure thank you for having you and um, definitely look forward to having you again in the future <laughs> i'm sure the listeners have always been asking for that and um tonight they definitely had that again. I want to wish you all the best as you go through this journey of leading a Dominica. For criminalizing bribery. All right, uh, let's get there. Let's see what we got there. All right, uh, we shall. Now, do some. Yeah, let's stop that there and get that going there. All right. Uh huh. <laughs> Everybody! We shall not be, we shall not be more. We shall not be, we shall not be more. Just like the trees that planted by the waters, never part. We shall not be more. We shall not be, we shall not be more. We shall not be, we shall not be more. Just like the trees that planted. By the waters, never party shall not be moved. They could come with propaganda, all their lies and all the slander. Try to mislead these people with their hate and all their evil. We shall not be, we shall not be moved. We shall not be, we shall not be moved. Just like the trees that planted by the waters, never party shall not be moved. Huh? The best thing that happened to this country is carried and the Labour Party. Well,